Uh, just turn your antenna towards Seaford and scan your TV, and Channel 14 will come up. Cindy, you can come have a seat if you want. I'm going to do a couple things before you get... Oh, wait a minute. Nope, nope, nope. I forgot about that. Hey, why don't you do your job and let me quit bugging you? All right? Anyway, so with that said, with that said, um, I forgot where I was, but we're going to play the collage again, Colin, uh, just for the TV audience. No, let's play it for the radio audience, too. Let's include everybody. Here's the collage. Here's what's going on today. Candidate Cindy Green joins us for a chat. Nicole Bixby is here to tell us about the walk to defeat ALS. State Representative Ruth Briggs King stops by for an update. Senator Colin Benini is running for governor and is sitting down for a chat with us. Indian Bob Robinson pops in with a few of his latest creations. We are live from Rudy's in Harrington. Here's your host, Jim Weller. There we go. Now we're ready. We have followed all the CDABC guidelines, and we're ready to go. So anyway, um, we're sitting here inside of a restaurant in Harrington, Delaware, called Rudy's Family Restaurant. And you are allowed to visit us during the show. We're right here in the lobby. You can come in. You can say hello. You can go have a bite to eat. If you want a couple gift cards to Vanderwinds, let me know. And uh, if I got them, I'll give them to you. And you could just stop by and see what it's like to make a TV, radio show, Facebook Live, a show from scratch. And that's exactly where we're at and what we're doing. So, I think the chair is maybe dry enough. I'm not sure. Hold up. Man, I have somebody here helping me out, and she is definitely does not like me in her business. Okay? She wants me to let her do her job. It's called micromanaging, folks. Uh, anybody that's ever worked with me or near me absolutely knows what that means. So in the meantime, let's do a sponsor segment. Now, this one here, you've heard me been talking about, heard me Ben. You heard me Ben talking about the Clayton Theater. What a landmark. Been there like 70, 71 years down in Dagsboro, Delaware. It's a really cool movie theater. They are now open seven days a week at seven in the evening. Um, here we go for uh, prosperity or a nice picture here. This is for the calendar for next year. So anyway, um, we take a lot of pictures here. It's kind of neat. We're only up to 140 some thousand of them. But the Clayton Theater is in Dagsboro, Delaware, and it's right downtown. It's been there like 70 some years. You could turn your mic on because I'm going to ask you a question about the Clayton Theater. So anyway, I'm going to be joined in just a minute by Cindy Green. She is running for the county council. But I want to ask you, Cindy, have you ever been to the Clayton Theater? I have not been there yet. Okay. Well, um, you've still got time. We have okay. time. Yes. We have time. But anyway, it's a nice movie theater. It's right downtown Dagsboro. It's been there 70 or 71 years. It's really kind of wow. cool because it's a theater that has a balcony. You ever been, remember balconies? Oh, yes. You know, oh, and yes. that's now theaters don't have balconies, you know, no. so... Um, so anyway, it's the Clayton Theater. In fact, I'll give you two tickets so you can take that young man that oh. drove you here to the movies. <laughs> Thank you. All right. What's we his will name? Do that. Mr. Green. Mr. Green. Yes, Mr. Green. Is he Green. a good driver? He's a very good driver. He's a okay. mailman. So when we're oh, out door knocking, okay. he knows how to read mailboxes. That's Odds a good on idea. One side, even numbers on the other side, and it boom, boom, boom. He could be a paramedic when he's done he being could, a mailman. Yes, man. oh, sure he could. Well, here's two tickets Thank to the Clayton you, Theater Jim for Weller. you guys. Thank and, you. And um, I just want to tell people about the Clayton just to finish up. But been around a long time. They just started opening back up seven days a week at 7 o'clock. And then they have matinees on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So it's kind of a step back in time a little bit. Now, the popcorn is really good. The butter is I don't even think it's fattening butter. In other words, I love it. I get extra butter when I go there. Free napkins with all purchases, very comfy seating. So if you want to go out, you're kind of tired of being cooped up, you want to go to the movies, check out the Clayton Theater in Dagsboro, Delaware. Their, their uh, website is called iloveclayton.com. And uh, just a great landmark and a lot of fun and conveniently located right downtown Dagsboro. So check them out. If you have any questions, you can give them a call. The box office number is 732-3744. Look them up on Facebook. Very, very active on Facebook. It's a home-style atmosphere, affordable entertainment for the whole family, all right? The Clayton Theater. And if you want some free tickets to the Clayton Theater, stay tuned. I'll be giving some away a little bit later in the show, okay? 
Now, my next guest, first it was Colin, and now it's Cindy, okay? So we've got everybody lined up in alphabetical order, okay? Is the way we line our guests up. No, it's really based on time. We're going to talk with Cindy Green. She is a candidate for the county council, and um, you are running. And uh, being in the political climate or a public servant is not new to you. No, Jim. Uh, I've already been elected to Sussex County government. I've been at the Register of Wills for 10 years. 10 years? It's been 10 years already, You were just yes. a teenager when you started I, on I that. I was. I really wow. was. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So how many election cycles was that? Is that I'm in my third. Really? I'm in my third election okay. cycle. Started wow, in Wow, I remember you campaigning, and um, that was all new. It was all new. Yeah. It, it was all new. So we've learned a lot, a lot. on the right. way. Yes. Right. And so you're a local person. Um, did you go to school around here? I graduated from Woodbridge. What kind of school? grades did Cindy Green get? Cindy Green was very social in oh, school. Oh, okay. She was good in math. Okay. And gym and activity things. Really? Oh, excellent. Okay. Very wow. good. All right. Well, we actually have your high school teacher here. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. That was a joke. We brought I, I don't even ever remember my teachers. Oh, my gosh. Some of them. They remember you. I, I've been out of they school. They remember so. me anyway. So, All right. So you're local, married, yes. got kids. You got any grandkids? I have four grandchildren. So I have three adult daughters, and they all live in Sussex County. Wow. So We're your family all here. is a We're right here. big taxpaying yes. local part yes. of the community type family. Yes. Okay. And homeowners. Absolutely. Homeowners, too. Homeowners, wow. Yes. Okay. Wow. Yes. All right. Well, anyway, and your husband's a mailman? He is a mailman. He's a mailman. Yes. Okay. Well, good. Yes. All right. So anyway, tell me, what caused you to decide, I want to run for county council? What what inspires somebody to so do that? So the, the seat has become vacant this election cycle from the retirement of county councilman Sam Wilson. Yep. So I had to take a look at, can I make a difference? Can right. I make an impact? And right. can I make an improvement in the lives of the people from my district? And the answer is, yes, I can. Okay. And you're we, ready. And we're ready to go. Yes. And you feel very, you know, already, um, you know a little bit about how the local government works because you're already in the middle we're of it. We're already there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And so what if somebody said, I want to talk to Cindy or I want to meet her or know more about her? Where do you steer people to get information about you? Facebook? Uh, I, we're, we're active on Facebook. Um, my phone number is out there. You can contact me. You're letting me. people call you? Yes, we put, our, okay. we put our information out there. My cell phone number is on there. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, let's give your cell phone number. What is it? I okay. got one of these in the my mail. My cell yesterday. phone number is 302-245-3215. 245 Yes. Okay. So I want at least somebody to call Cindy and say good morning. And um, chit chat with her. If, if okay. That's okay, that would All be right. great. Yes. All right. Now, will you go speak to a group? Uh, we like, we do have speaking engagements this year. It has been totally different. Okay. Um, What's different I, this year? There, well, there's just not gatherings. I know. There's just I there's just you. not there. So then you have to decide: can you door knock? Can you and uh, actually it's we, elbow knock? Yeah, yeah. We're, okay. And we we are door knocking. It, okay. it came down to that is you can call people, but actually. Knocking on their door, step back, right, and they answer the door, and they do like to meet the candidate. What's it like door knocking? What's the first reaction? It's, well, it it's not easy to do. Okay, you know you got to find the door. You've got to you know you're a stranger at these people's door. Right. But when I I say I'm a Republican candidate for county council, they're excited to be connected to okay. a Republican candidate. That's kind of new. This okay. election cycle, I think. Okay. There's more excitement that they're a Republican and I'm a Republican. Okay. And we There's identify. A there, There's I a believe there is. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. I've been very well received. Okay. And um, so yesterday we had a postcard go out. And then I'm knocking on doors. He said, oh, I got your card today. I got, I and got I know yesterday. who you are. Yeah, so right. it's like they were excited to meet the candidate. Well, very so good. So that was a very good evening last night. If somebody said, what separates you from the other candidates? What, is there a, something different? Absolutely. That, okay. I'm the candidate with experience. Okay. And so. I'm running on my record. I have not raised taxes. I have not raised fees. Okay. I am conservative. Okay. So my, uh, the other opponents 
can say what they will think they will do, but I've actually done it. I have a record. We've accomplished those things. We have improved government. Okay. You've made a difference. We've made a difference. Made a difference. We've made a difference. So um, what else do you want people to know about you? Like, is there any real, is there anything you're passionate about? Anything that, that you hope to be part of? a change or an improvement in the county if elected? So one of the things for me is I like the voice of the people to manage things. I am not for bureaucrats that run the county to be managing the affairs of the people from my district. I want to be more proactive. I want to have more of a voice. Okay. If people contact me, you know, right. long as if, the if people nothing, that vote for you, people in your that, district, in my district, if it's not broke, we're not going to fix it. Correct. So I, I don't really have like number one, two, and three things if it's not broke. Right. Things that people contact me, I will take a look at it. Mm-hmm. Well, good. And the county seems to be it has a good group right now. In other yes. words, Sam is just you know sure. retiring. Uh, yes. And it's created a vacancy, and yes. there is. Other people running, in other words, and you're hoping people remember your name. What's your yes. name again? Cindy Green, okay. Vote Green, the green girl from Greenwood. Wow. It's very easy Pretty to cool. remember. Yeah. When is the election? It is September 15th. It's a Tuesday. Okay. Five weeks, or four weeks, one more month. One wow. month left, yeah. That's all that's left is four weeks. Wow. Yes. I think today's, clo- today's the 15th. It's a month away. It is. Isn't that yeah, something? Yeah, so we're counting down. All right, so you're out door knocking. We are door knocking. You are available by phone. Yes. You got a Facebook? I do. Cindy Green somewhere? Cindy or? Green's on Facebook. Okay. Yes. And so people could like you there or look yes. you up there. Okay. And uh, anything else you want to say or add? We're excited about this. Um, this was a family decision, and it does work for us, and I think I can carry the load, and I'm committed to doing this. So you're ready for the challenge. I'm ready, and we are committed, yes. Okay. You know this might be a big project. It is going to be big. Yeah. yeah it's a, yes. It's much bigger than what I have now. And, uh, but I think we're good. You're ready. We're ready. And you feel you're prepared and and you want to make a difference. Yes. All right. Phone number one more time. 302. 245-3215. 245-3215. I always make things like dollars. $32.15. Okay. 3215. 3215. All right. Anything else? Thank you, Jim. All right. Well, thanks for coming. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And I wish you well. I think we're having you on again sometime. Yes, we are. We'll be here toward the end. All right. Thank you. Cindy Green, everybody. Go green. All right. Now, I got a lot more things going on here today. In a little while, we're going to be taking a phone call from our friend Justin Ward, Invisible Fence brand of Delmarva. Okay. And I see. Nicole Messick will be coming in. We're going to be talking about an ALS walk. We've got Representative Ruth Briggs King. She is here. I always enjoy talking to her. Good morning, young man. People are coming and people are going. The restaurant is busy. Things are happening. I'm going to be chatting with Senator Colin Benini. He is running for governor. And um, I got just a lot of different things going on. Rob Robinson, Indian Bob's creation. He's got a big event today that he'll be on his way to. There's a big I don't even know how to describe it, but it's happening at Antique Alley in Bridgeville, Delaware. So um, it's a big, um, like, vendor thing outside. So there's stuff in there, and then there's stuff outside. There's going to be a lot of vendors. And Indian Bob is one of them. So you'll be able to hear him on the show, and then you'll be able to go see his creations, okay? So anyway, you're here for the ALS walk. Yep, not yet, not yet. I just wondered if that's what you were here for. You need to calm down there over there, girl. My gosh hostility in this room all right so anyway what am i saying here i want to talk about i did talk about the clayton theater already but i want to take a minute and ask if there's anybody listening or watching i'm going to do another commercial and after that i'm going to give you a chance to win two tickets to the clayton theater okay so i'm going to talk for just a minute about dry zone and then after that i'm going to open up the phones and give away tickets to the Clayton Theater, okay? You'll get two of them, all right? Uh, They're small, two. You'll get two for free in just a minute or two. So write down the phone number, 422-7336, 422-7336, and be prepared. We are going to 
giveaway tickets to the Clayton Theater here in just a couple minutes. But I want to brag on Dry Zone. This is a sponsor segment. Dry Zone has been supporting the show for years. We're about to celebrate our seven year, seven year anniversary of doing this show. And uh, we say thank you to all the people that are watching, tuned in, listening, and so on. But Dry Zone has always supported the show. So we thank you, Bill, Heather, and Team Dry Zone for all your support over the years. Now, people say Dry Zone does crawl space encapsulation. Absolutely. They do it like no other, okay? Dry Zone knows what they're doing. So all the different services that Dry Zone provides, they didn't just wake up one day and say, you know what, we're just going to do this. They are trained, trained, and trained again. They use products that are only designed for what they do. Okay, they're not generic products. And they have a warranty that is also transferable. So if you were ever to sell your home or, you know, wanted to sell your property or you had a property you need to fix up to sell, the warranty is transferable. Not all companies are like that. So what I'm letting you know is Dry Zone does crawl space encapsulation. We've had a ton of rain lately. People I know, their basements are leaking all of a sudden. They're leaking worse than they used to, and they're going to deal with it because they don't want any mold or any kind of uh, anything like that that's unhealthy growing in their basement. So Dry Zone can help you with a leaky basement, all right? They also do electrical work. So if you have some electrical projects you want done, they can help you with that. They do concrete coating where you ha might have a garage floor that needs a coating on it. I had my showroom floor done by them at uh, Wellers in Bridgeville, and that's kind of neat also. If you have some concrete that's not level, like if you have a, a sidewalk where one piece is sticking up, which creates a tripping hazard or it's un unsafe, you know, especially if you own a business or a restaurant or something like that, they can come in with their poly level and level that piece of concrete, okay? So anyway, I just want to let you know that Dry Zone is a great local company. I have dealt with them myself for years on multiple projects. I recommend them. I have people call me on a weekly basis that are getting ready to get an estimate or getting ready to deal with them. Been very happy. And um, it's just kind of a good company. So if you got any of the things that Dry Zone does and you don't quite know who to pick, I'm just saying to you, Jim Weller says Dry Zone does a good job. They'll stand behind what they do, and they'll take good care of you before the sale, during the sale, after the sale. Estimates are free. They're licensed. They're insured. Just give them a call at 302-684-5034. 684-5034. On the web, it's dryzone.com. Check them out. Like their Facebook page. And if you want to stop in and say hello in person, they're on Route 16 in Ellendale. It's the Big Red Dry Zone Worldwide Headquarters there, okay? So anyway, what else is going on? Oh, I'm going to take some phone calls. It's 422-7336. 422-7336. If you would like two tickets to the Clayton Theater, they're yours for free. You'll have to pick them up at Weller's in Bridgeville Tuesday through Saturday, and then you can go to the Clayton Theater whenever you want and use them as long as they're open. You can only go when they're open, okay? So two tickets to the Clayton Theater. If you would like two tickets, call me right now. The phone number is 422 422- 7336. For those on the radio, don't look at your screen. It's not going to pop up there. The phone number is 422-7336. 422-7336. And speaking of radio, there's somebody that has been connected in the very beginning days with Delaware 1059 celebrating a birthday today. Mike Kazala. If you're out there listening, happy birthday, my friend. Thank you for all you've done for me and for our community. He literally was part of starting Delaware 1059. So Mike Cazala's birthday is today. If you know him, send me his gift cards, and I'll see to it that he gets them. Or you can communicate with him directly. Do we have a phone call, or was that a takeout order? That was a takeout order. We, we use the same line for everything here. I hear the phone ring. It could be takeout. It could be um, a, a phone call for two tickets to the Clayton Theater. So they're here for you. Um, I can't do any more than give them away. I'm not allowed to pay you to take them. So if you want two tickets to the Clayton Theater, uh, they're good all the way till the end of 2021, okay? So anyway, if you'd like a couple, give me a call right now, 422-7336, and uh, we, will, we will set them aside for you at Wellers in Bridgeville, and you pick them up there. Other than that, we are here. Where's here? We are right, um, we are right here across from Rite Aid at Rudy's Family restaurant in Harrington, Delaware. This place is huge. So if you are like uh, tired of being cooped up and you want to have a little get together with some friends and family, there's uh, two big rooms up front here that hold 50, 60 people each. There's rooms in the back that hold 20 or 30 people. There's plenty of place in this restaurant if it's just you alone and you want to have a seat and eat breakfast. But there's a great 
menu. They're open seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Okay? That's pretty cool. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. You know what I mean? That's like a work. That's a workload. That's a full schedule. So anyway, good food, breakfast, lunch, dinner, takeouts, whatever you want to do. Rudy's Family Restaurant in Harrington. Now I'm going to stir the pot. Now I'm going to stir the pot, not the marijuana pot. I'm just talking about the pot of soup. Okay, I know where everybody's mind went to. Who stirs pot? Not me. Anyway, listen to me. We're going to give away a gift certificate to Rudy's Family Restaurant. A $25 gift certificate is yours for free. You got to pick it up at Weller's Utility Trailers in Bridgeville. That's not Wheeler's. It's Weller's. It's the other place. Weller's Utility Trailers on Route 13 in Bridgeville. A $25 gift certificate to Rudy's Family Restaurant. If you're the first caller to get through and tell me where Rudy's is located, okay? You got to tell me that. 422-7336. We want the phone to ring. Are the phones even on? Um, I, I just need a, a, a 911 address. No, I just need the town. Where is Rudy's Family Restaurant? That is the question. If you can answer it correctly, you will win a $25 gift card to Rudy's Family Restaurant. Now, that's a big gift, all right? Now, I hope the phones are working. I presume we tested them, right? We got all the wires run and everything is good. Okay, so anyway, it really is working. I didn't want to give that gift card away. I was going to hold on to that one for a while. Caller, are you there? Yeah. All right, here's the question. Uh, well, what are you calling for? That's the first question. Well, I just heard you say you wanted to give away a twenty-five dollar Rudy's gift certificate for Rudy's in Harrington on Route Thirteen out front of Byler's. Man, that's a pretty good description. Can you get it any narrowed down more than that? I would say it is between the Royal Farms and the Byler's and the shopping center with the Super Eight on Route Thirteen <laughs> in Harrington, Delaware, right by Route Fourteen and Route Thirteen. Is it on the southbound or northbound lane? Southbound side. Just across from the Arby's, kind of, <laughs> sort of, yeah. All right. What, are you sitting in the building here? No, no, I'm just familiar with the area. Okay. And uh, where are you from? Uh, Greenwood. 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 All right. And um, would you like this gift card, or are you just calling in for the fun of it? Uh, you know what? I wouldn't mind using it, but if there's somebody else that could use it, I mean, I wouldn't mind passing it along. No, we're going to let you have it. What's your name? Matthew. Matthew. Yeah. All right. How are you spelling Matthew? Like M A T H E W? Two T's in there. M A T T H E W. Oh, I couldn't get nothing right this morning. All right. So, Matthew, are you watching on TV or radio or how are you hearing the show? Uh, I'm listening to you on the 105.9 live stream. All right. Live stream, 105.9. All right. And do you know where Weller's is? Uh, it's in Bridgeville, but just south. Of, you want me to give you the. Yeah. <laughs> Can we give you the same description of where Weller's is? No. Hey, I got to let you go. But, Matthew, there will be a $25 gift card waiting for you at Weller's, okay? Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. We're going to take a break from the radio. I hear the music. I got to stop talking for one second and let everything switch over. All right, I'm back with you, everybody. We are live right here on TV, Del Marva, and uh, Facebook, and YouTube. And uh, Route 13, southbound, Harrington. That was a pretty good description, wasn't it? <laughs> that was really good, yeah. <laughs> I should have asked him what he does for a living. Okay, he Math maker. Good. He's a map maker. <laughs> right. I forgot his name. Where did I write that down? Oh, I wrote it down. You got it, Matthew? Okay. All right. So anyway, um, that Two was T's. pretty good. Two T's. Yes. I, gosh, I'm trying so hard to work on my spelling. So. <laughs> well, why try now, right? <laughs> why try now? <laughs> All right, I'm beyond hope. All right, this is Colin Walls, owner-operator. We don't talk about Walls Service Center much. We're we all don't. on TV, Delmarva. Right. But um, how has Walls Service Center been doing? Uh, we've been busy. Been busy? Yeah. So Good. we had 10 weeks of nothing. Okay. So uh, we're going to need lots and lots of busy, busy to right. make up for that. Right. Because I figured out you don't get those 10 weeks back. I doubt it. I was I trying it. to figure out how to get them back. You do not get them back. I've, right. I've figured out. You just have to reset and keep moving. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. All right. But well, anyway. everybody got a paycheck the whole time, and uh, so we're right. we're good to go, and I feel like we're on the other side of it, and right. things are improving. Well, you are kind of got a lot of your family working there, too. So yeah. what is it? Yeah, the so they don't care if they get third, paychecks. Third, fourth. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wasn't saying that. Oh. As Colin over there looks at me like, he's, he's going camping, man. He's like, he I needs- don't care, but the mortgage company cares. That's right. <laughs> yep. All right. So anyway, TV Del Marva, we got yeah. Anthony Joseph coming along. That's right. Yeah. The Anthony and- Joseph show. He's starting next week. Okay. His show will come on right after yours. Okay. He's going to have Jimmy Johnson on, NASCAR okay. driver Jimmy Johnson. Yep. He's going to have Clint Boyer. Yep. NASCAR driver. And then a third and, guy that you don't know. And the rookie his sensation. Name. Oh, it's he's such a sensation that we don't even want to reveal his name right now. That's what it is. Because I can't That's think of it. That's what it is. He's a work in progress. <laughs> yeah. So is Anthony. You're going to enjoy watching Anthony. It's just Anthony's debut to TV, yep. and then he's usually radio. Well, and we want to thank our sponsors. Okay. So, big sponsor, Shell Brothers, has come on board. They're Shell sponsoring Brothers. the show. Okay. Uh, we're going to have uh, Milford Southern States. They're sponsoring the show. Okay. And Hopkins Automotive uh, sells cars wow. down yep. just uh, north of Seaford, and they're yep. actually in Salisbury, too. Is it Danielle and Kenny? What's that? The Hopkins. What's their name? Is it Danielle and Kenny Hopkins? It's not Kenny. It's not Kenny. Okay. No, it's Tom. Tom. I Danielle and Tom. Yes, Danielle Kenny. and Tom. Yes, I always uh, get Kenny's alphabet. and Tom's. <laughs> it was in the same alphabet. <laughs> so they've been around a long time. Oh, you can and, tell uh, I'm real tight with them. <laughs> <laughs> they, but they've been right. around a long time. Good business. And, uh, good yep, place good to business. Get a good car. solid business. Yep. So check them out. Check out all of our sponsors, uh, Shell Brothers and Milford Southern States. As Is well. there any openings left? Yes. Uh, actually, on Anthony's show, I think we've limited. I can't remember if it was six or eight sponsors for Anthony's okay, show. Okay, so it's filling up fast. It is filling up. Okay. Uh, so if you do want to sponsor that show, and hey, watch it next week if you want to be a sponsor. That's right. And you're going to see how good it is. I mean, he's getting these big time people So even on. if you're not a sponsor, you're allowed to watch the show. That's right. Okay, yep. but if you watch it and want to be a sponsor, there's there's no line. Get get in get in there quickly. Wait, yes, exactly. Wear get your mask. Because we are limiting the amounts of sponsors. Now, do people have show. to wear their mask when they watch TV? They don't, no. They no. don't. Okay, I was just checking. <laughs> I mean, you know, we got we got some good rules here in Delaware. <laughs> so starting next week is your yeah. show, 7 to 9. Right. Anthony nine Joseph, 9 to 10. Right. Uh, Studio J with Jessica Martinez is 10 to 11. And then the, the return Sprouse. of Michael Sprouse's show from 11 to noon. Okay. And so it's going to be a good line. I didn't even know there was a return. I didn't even know he was going. No, he was what, going. Was he on vacation? He, yes, he took the month of July took off. And he took, well, the plan was to take July and August off, but he's ready to get back at it. Can't take it any longer. He can't take it any longer. Cabin fever. Yeah. So. The cabin fever version of Michael Sprouse coming up. <laughs> yeah. And I think right. he has been... Staying at home a lot. Really? So, yeah, okay. just check his hair out on this next episode. And oh. You can tell how long he's been since okay. he's been to the barber. All right. Anything else? I think that's it. Oh, how do you get TV Delmarva? I have no idea. The best way well, is turn to point your TV your, towards Seaford. Point your antenna towards Seaford. Antenna. Rescan your television. Look for channel 14. Okay. Coming soon, channel 14.2 and 14.3. Okay. Uh, I'll have an update on that uh, okay. next segment. Uh, or you can look on uh, Amazon Fire Stick or your Roku okay. or TVDelmarva.com. And no charge to watch. No charge to watch, no. This I is mean, whatever free the TV. Costs. Okay, whatever yeah. the internet costs. Right. All right, and maybe there'll be some government program that'll pay for your internet before you I know it. I think they've already started that if you have kids. It includes free cheese. Yeah. If you. <laughs> <laughs> that was not nice. Oh, All right. my gosh, Jim. Okay. All right. Anything else? No, I'm getting out of here before you offend another group of people. And I don't want to be associated with it. <laughs> All right. Well, to get out of here, All right, thank I'm going to let you go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, and as winter comes along, you do need free cheese for your mousetraps. All right. What is next? Justin Ward's going to be calling in, I hope. I hope. And um, Justin Ward's going to be calling in. Uh, we're going to talk to Nicole. Messick, uh, Bixby, got married. Oh, okay. We're going to talk about this wedding. How long ago did you get married? July 11th. Ten years ago? July 11th. Okay. Yes, we're going to talk about a July wedding in this pandemic. No, we're going to be talking about a walk, all right? An ALS walk, all right? All right, so what in the world's going on? Uh, we're here. We're doing our best to um, have a good show. We all want to get along. We all want to be able to get out of here safely. There's a lot going on out in front of the building. I just keep looking out there, and I can just see the meter running. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Somebody's making money this morning. So anyway, um, what else is going on? Wellers is open uh, at 8 o'clock. I got to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of the people that have supported Wellers. We are not going out of business. If you ride by Wellers right now, you would say, it looks awful. We're down to like 300 trailers. It's unbelievable how things have been. I mean, we have had a record-breaking year, 
and we are out of inventory to some degree. I hear the music. We're coming back on the radio. I got to be quiet for a second. That time is up. All right, we're back on the radio, so good morning to the radio audience, the TV audience, Facebook, YouTube, everywhere and anywhere we are here, okay? And I was talking about Weller's Utility Trailers is not going out of business. We, we used to have 40, 50 sheds in stock. I don't think we have five, and every one of them sold, okay? Uh, the other week, we sold like 17 sheds in one week, folks, okay? So I've just never seen anything like it. The economy is just mind-boggling right now and there's shortages on everything so uh we have just took on five new brands of trailers i ordered a load of trailers the other day for a january delivery and i have no idea what the price is they're just saying jim there's going to be so many price increases we can't even tell you what the price of the trailers are going to be you got to spend fifty thousand dollars on the load and you gotta you gotta get it in line now or you won't get it until march so i placed an order of aluminum trailers for a January delivery, not even knowing what the price is. Who ever heard of doing business like this? But every manufacturer all across the United States, we get stuff out of Indiana, we get stuff out of Ohio, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and they're all got the same problem. They're, they're short on this item or that item, or they have to work socially distancing. So everything they do is going, it's like walking through mud all day long, they said, to be able to say, oh no, you can't get too close to me because you gotta stay away from me. It's sad, it's sad, it's sad. So anyway, bottom line is, we only got about 300 trailers in stock. I think we sold 37 last week. Thank you everybody that bought trailers, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I got them coming. I got them coming. My goal is to have 1,500 trailers on the ground by March, if at all possible, okay? So anyway, we got trailers. We can get you sheds. We had, I think, seven or eight delivered just the other day. So anyway, we sell Amish-made sheds and dog kennels and chicken coops and so on. Is uh, Justin Ward on the phone? This is going to be a sponsor segment. Justin, are you there? Morning, Jim. How are you doing today? I'm doing real good. And how is... Invisible Fence brand of Delmarva doing? We're doing pretty good. Pretty uh, good? We're just staying busy. Uh, again, this time of year, we get a lot of people that come down to the beach and they want to get their second home or their vacation home up and running. Uh, the dogs are on vacation just like us humans, so uh, get them out in the yard. and uh, Especially if they've already been trained, a lot of people actually bring their collars along and um, they either buy a new system or... Uh, we can help them set up their existing system uh, that's at their vacation home. So uh, we got a lot of new technology hmm. coming out. Um, I've been lately talking about our new app that will be coming out uh, with the system. It's our Boundary Plus system that uh, gives a dog more room to run around, usually about 30 40% more room to run around in the yard. And, and uh, they have the endless boundaries. So if they were to get past it, a lot of people are familiar with our traditional style fencing. Uh, where if the dog got past it, they were free to go. This new technology uh, will actually keep reminding them it'll last up to 30 seconds if they cross the boundaries. Hmm. To remind them to come back in the yard. They, they get that free pass back in once they come back over the wire and shut themselves off. So, uh, wow. so this new app allows you to know if your dog's uh, going to be out and about, um, whether the batteries are low. Um, some people are very big fans of the rechargeable batteries. You can mm -hmm. use these batteries to recharge. Um, and use that app to justify when to change it. Um, and ours is Wi-Fi based, so you can see your dog anywhere in the world versus a Bluetooth or uh, just a um, uh, home. Actually, I, let me correct myself. It's actually a web-based uh, mobile app versus a Wi-Fi where you have to actually be in the house to attach to it, but you can be anywhere in the world with ours and know what your dog's up to. So uh, it's a pretty cool system uh, that, that just now came out. So. Uh, Estimates are free. We can come out and give you a price on that. And this system also will be able to eventually do our GPS module um, so we can use one transmitter for everything, which is pretty cool, uh, especially from a business standpoint. But uh, a lot of people don't know about our GPS. We can do three acres or more. Uh, the largest we've done is 1,500 acres, so it's pretty cool for farms. Uh, we get a lot of customers that have the uh, chicken barns and stuff like that. They want the dog to be around. So this gives them that ability to do that. Uh, and then we're all about the training. So we can show you how to use everything, uh, service the equipment, even if it's an existing system or competitor system, we can help with servicing. So uh, we encourage people to reach out and 
like we always talk about, Jim, I got the 90 days or the 12 months interest free finance. So we pay the interest and it allows the customer to, to have that just that base cash price to, to pay on a monthly basis if it helps them, especially with everything going on right now. So Right. Every little uh, bit helps free interest. Yep. All right. Well, then how do people yeah. reach you for one of your free estimates? They can uh, check us out on Facebook, YouTube, or they can call or text at 410-546-2436. Check us out on the web as well. All right. Now, I have an unrelated question. Are okay. you ready? Is there ready. is there an invisible fence brand system that will work with pigs? Yes. For real? Yep. Well, I we've have... Been doing this for, we've been doing this for 20 years, so uh, we've done goats and pigs. So I have... Uh, I know somebody that their pigs got out the other day and did quite a bit of damage and uh, to four different neighbors' yards. So... Um, Yep, so I think they're going to start a GoFundMe for an invisible fence for their pigs. One of them was huge. Yep. It was unbelievable. Them things made me nervous. So anyway, um, but the, they got loose and rutted up this yard, and then they went to the neighbor's yard and enjoyed the garden. They went to the neighbor's yard and then enjoyed the flowers and went to the next neighbor's yard and enjoyed the bushes. So um, them pigs were on the move for a whole day. So so you can get a collar yep. around a pig. Yep, yep. Uh, okay. I do know what pigs can do, and yeah, they usually max out our collars, like the strap size wise. They usually max them out, but uh, we've done before. So, uh, and and just like any any uh, time you go to a fair, you see the kids showing the animal. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much what we're going to do with a pig. I mean, you're going to work with them and show them that boundaries, and, and they will. Wow. Work, so. All right. Cool. Well, I I may be bringing you a customer that needs an invisible <laughs> fence for their pig farm. All right. Well, we're going to leave you. Okay. Yep, I appreciate it. Have a good weekend, everyone. Yep, you too. Bye-bye. All right, now, my next guest is here. Victim, guest, whatever we're going to call it. Her name is Nicole. And I'm going to take it she got married in July. Yes. I just have to ask, what was it like having a wedding this year with all the restrictions and things like that? It was a little different. A little different. It was a little different. Did you have to change the date or anything? No. Location? No. No? Oh, so you no. just planned accordingly. Yes, it was a small oh. wedding anyway. So. Okay. Okay. Less than a thousand people? Yes, I don't okay. think I know a thousand people. Okay. All right. <laughs> Just messing with you. So your name is Nicole Messick? Yes. All right. And you're here about an ALS walk? Yes. All right. Tell me all about it. Uh, so the ALS walk this year is going to be September 12th. Okay. And normally we have it at the bandstand down in Rehoboth. Yes. But this year it's going to be a virtual walk. Okay. So it's basically going to be walk your way. So we're going to be walking. Really? Wherever we are. Okay. Um, so we're going to be posting different clips, videos, um, keeping in contact throughout the day. Okay. And it also allows us to kind of expand our date a little bit for fundraising efforts. Okay. And expand your boundaries. It does. This it way does. nobody has to go anywhere except where they want to go. Right. So if somebody's on vacation, they can still participate. Um, yeah. It'll, you know, give us different views on videos. So. Mm -hmm. See who's exciting. Yes. In other words, or what they walk by or stand in front of or things like that. Right. You know, um, so maybe some of the people that are walking, they, they raise money, right? Correct. They get sponsors. Yes. So this way they could maybe take a picture of walking by their sponsor's business. Right. And put that on Facebook or something like that. So, right. All Absolutely. right. What's the goal? How much money are we trying to raise? Uh, well. Is there a limit? Are we only allowed to raise so much? Oh, no. No Lim limit. Limitless. Of it's course. limitless. No. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, our team goal my personal team goal okay. is thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Um, this year, you know, every year is different, but of course, you know, this year is everybody is tight. Um, you never know, though. You never know. You never know. Because um, people are all cooped up and they're just in the mood to spend money. Right. Okay. <laughs> or eat food, one or the other. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Typically, at the at the team walks, we do have food provided. Okay. But this right. year, that's going to be a little different. So, is everybody going to do it like at the same time? We're going to try to have everybody do it at the same time, okay. um, but it's going to be a, a day long. Okay. My wife is doing some 100-mile bike ride that's like that. Yes. It was like she did it in person. Now she does a little bit here and there. It's like, 
Anyway, it's an interesting thing. But it's the new thing. It is the new thing. It's the new thing. So uh, get out and breathe some fresh air and take a walk. So right. kids, family, everybody, right? Oh, kids, yes. My kids. daughter's okay. been doing it since she was a baby at this ALS walk. Really? So, yes. Okay. Yes, wow. the whole family has. Okay. Um, so this year, we're kind of looking for people to register, form teams. You know, if businesses have people coming back to work. Right. They can form a team, kind of as okay. a team building effort. All right. um, we're looking for corporate sponsorships, um, just other people to join us. When is it? September twelfth. September twelfth. Political candidates should form a team. Political candidates should form a team. I just thought of that because the primary is <laughs> September fifteenth. There's it would plenty be of time. Plenty of time. Plenty who's, of time. Who's the picture of on your shirt? Um, the picture is actually of my uncle. Okay. Um, it was my uncle, Racy. Okay. Racy Paul, that's who our team is after. Okay. So it's Walking right. Tall for Racy Walking Paul. Walking Tall for Racy Paul. That's yes. kind of cool. Yeah. All right. And how many years have you done this? You said since your child was a well, baby, or we're not um, going to tell your age or anything? Just, yeah, that's fine. Uh, my daughter so, is 11, but okay. the walk actually started in 2008 in Rehoboth. Okay. Um, so we've been doing it since then. You know, I know a lady associated with this walk. Is her last name Walters? Yes. Did I say it right? I Is believe it Walt? so, yes. A long time ago, they had a dry cleaning business. Uh, I don't know her history, but yep. yeah, she was one of the, the founding yes, four, Yes, she was, I and yes. I've had her on a few times. Yep. 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 Mary, Mary Ann. Or, yep. 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 So my aunt was one of them also. Really? Yep. Yep, but I remember having her on, and they would walk the boardwalk and down at Rehoboth, so this year yes. we're not doing that. So you need sponsors? Do you need any sponsors? Yes. So how could somebody sponsor? If somebody's listening or watching and says, look, I want to get involved. I want to get behind this. Do they call a number? Do they just mail you a blank check? What do they do? Um, so we can, you can go to the website, actually. It's the www.rehobothwalktodefeatals.org. There's sponsorship forms on there. There's also information on how you can form a team. Um, there's different teams that you could uh, sign up to join. Okay. You can sign up as an individual walker. There's all of the information is there for that. All right. And um, it's no charge to sign up. No charge to sign up. Trying to raise some money. Yep. So whether you want to walk, don't want to walk, want to just donate, any of that's okay. It's absolutely fine. Okay. Have you heard that walking backwards improves your memory? No. Okay. Just checking. But it does cause you to trip. It does cause you to trip. Okay. But you'll have a nice fall. Yes. Okay. Might not have a nice <laughs> fall. You never know. All right. So anything else you want to say or add or? I think that's about it. Okay. And uh, what's it been like being on this show? Interesting. Interesting? Interesting. Okay. Did we treat you okay? Yes. You getting your money's worth? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So one more time, we're talking about an ALS walk. Going to be September 12th. Yes. And we want people to get involved if you're watching and listening and you've never done a walk in your life. There's no certain walking style or anything, right? No. You can just kind of mumble along. You can walk fast, whatever you want to do. Yes. Is that right? Yes, because I no, do not walk fast. There's no height or weight requirements or anything? No. Okay, no physical test, nothing like that. No. So we just want people to get involved, help raise some money. I'm sure like all organizations, it's been a challenging year. It has been a very challenging year. So yes. let's get behind this, okay? Every dollar counts. Uh, empty your piggy bank. Uh, get your change out. Turn it into money, okay? Yes. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to thank you, all right? Thank you for having us. All right. Us. And do you eat ice cream? I do. How many people in your family? All of us. How many is that? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good answer. If I gave you a gift card to Vanderwins, how many, how many do you need? There's four of us. Four. So one, two, three, four. How's that? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and uh, take a selfie when you're there and tag, tag me in it, okay? Okay. All right. Vanderwich, have you ever heard of them? Yes. It's ice cream. Oh, yes. Okay. It's made in America, made in Delaware, okay? Yes. It's very All right. good. It is very good? It is very good. You've had it? Yes. What's your favorite? I'm, I'm plain chocolate person. Plain chocolate. Plain All chocolate. right, then. All right. Well, thanks a lot, okay? <laughs> Thank All you. All right. See you. Bye-bye. All right. There she goes, everybody. And um, soon we're going to be talking to my next guest. And we've got a busy morning here, so let's just brag on one of our sponsors real quick, Vanderwind's Farm Creamery, Vanderwind's Ice Cream, doing a great job. We're very happy with them. Um, they got four locations, and where are they? Well, everybody knows about Greenwood. Everybody knows about Bridgeville. But did you know they're in Dewey Beach and Fenwick Island? And they have this great big truck that you can hire to come to your event, like if you're having a party or a get together or you just want to pay the truck to be at your business and encourage people to stop by and 
get some free ice cream or whatever, you pay the truck, and then they can give ice cream away to all your friends, your relatives, your guests, whoever. So anyway, we are here. We are at Rudy's Family Restaurant on Route 13 in Harrington. Our next guest is going to be coming up in a moment or so. Um, it's Representative Ruth Briggs King. I've known her since she was just a little youngin. Um, I don't know exactly when I got to know her. I knew her father before I knew her. Um, I don't think we're ready yet, Ruth, but we're close. We're close. So anyway, and um, I just want to let you know that she's going to be talking about all kinds of things. She's a local gal, and um, I think her husband sings in a band or plays music or something like that. I'm not sure. No. Okay. Just break dances. I'm not sure what he does. Say so Sings the who? All right. All right. At least he's not singing the blues anyway. So anyway, it's her brother that plays in a band. Okay. I'm just making this stuff up as I go. I'm trying to make the entry sensational. Okay. So anyway. He's, a, yeah, he's his own band. All right, let's take a picture real quick. This is for our calendar um, that we're probably never going to make, but who knows? Calendars are a thing of the past, they're telling me. So this is my next guest, Representative Ruth Briggs King from Georgetown, Delaware, made the trip all the way Woo. to Harrington. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good. I think we're supposed to say Harrington. Harrington. Har Harrington. Harrington. <laughs> You know, have you noticed there's two cash registers in this area? There's one outside here and there's one right there. And it's just rolling right They're along. You haven't it. seen it. No. So anyway, um, you are running again to be a representative. Right. And this time I'm running unopposed, which means that there is no opposition candidate, which is a great place to be because you can continue to do your work in your district, but you can also help some of those other candidates who might That's need a, a little point. bit of help in a but special would, election year. Now, I would take that as a, as a very big compliment because it, what they're saying is, is people are saying you're doing a good job. We don't need to primary you. We don't need to put somebody right. up against you. We want to let you continue to do the work you've started. Right. Now, that's see, how I would see that. You're right. They see the honor. efforts and constituent service because a lot of what we do is not about the laws or the regulations. It's about helping people and during this you know, epidemic, it's been helping people get unemployment. I mean, every day there's three or four phone calls where people um, need help getting you they know, the benefit. months ago or the, weeks yeah. ago. And so it's things like that. It's things right now with education because we have so many parents and teachers that are concerned what it's going to be like. How are we going to return to school, you know, worried about many things and is trying to get the answers because some of these decisions that are dictated to us, we have a lot of questions as legislators. Will they even work? Right, exactly. Is it and, even going to make sense? Right. And know. so it's a time when I think they rely on that experience and right. that knowledge um, to pull through and for you to continue those efforts. And so, um, you know, very grateful to be in this position and happy to continue it and, and get some more work done. And what's nice about running at the moment unopposed? is you can just keep right on doing what you've been doing because I got to believe not being in session, you're probably being contacted even more by more people so, than and, ever. More so, and these Zoom meetings and conference calls, um, they're not very productive because the public doesn't get to be engaged. And so that, for me, that's frustrating that we're trying to get things done. It's not necessarily the best way to do them. Um, if you say, are you as busy as ever? Because these meetings are all the time and continual that you have. I've been appointed to a lot of special task force. They take time to prepare for those. Um, to make sure you're talking with, if I were having a meeting about business, I'm going to talk with business people. I asked Colin, how's business? Tell me how things are going. Um, Stan and I just returned. We, we left on an expedition okay. on uh, July 15th, and we went across country. We wound up in Yellowstone National Park. We went from Delaware to Ohio to the Football Hall of Fame, up to Green Bay Packers Stadium, down to the Badlands, Sturgis, Deadwood, Rushmore, into Yellowstone. So 5,200 miles we traveled in, in about two weeks. Um, on a motorcycle? No, in a, no, in, no, <laughs> no, in, in our large, in our, um, in our expedition that we okay. had. Um, and we prepared for whatever. If we had, if they, we went into a state and Delaware's on the naughty list, we were prepared to drive on through. Because you couldn't stay. Right. Unless you stayed for 14 right. days. But every, just about everywhere we went, we saw help wanted. Um, people were busy. I mean, people were not afraid to travel. Every state had different restrictions with right. masking this, that, or the other. We've been home two weeks, no signs of illness. You know, from doing those things, washing hands, being careful, social distancing and everything. Um, we saw so many trucks you know, and so many rail that were just busy with commerce. 
And so the demand is there. We have to get things so people can, you know, engage in work and get things back. You go into stores now and you see they're not really stocked. And some are afraid, you know, because they lost the Easter season, they lost the summer season. School, return to school is not there. If there are, you know, businesses that rely on selling stuff for colleges, you know, to go back in session or for dorms. So much of that has impacted, but yes. yet you see the drive and the, the demand for right. products is still there. Right. It's almost like if we could just set our people free, yeah. we would prosper. And, and, and I think and part on. of the frustration of this for a lot of people is how much of this is politics and how much of this is other things right. going into that. Right. So, I agree with that. Yeah. And um, so what would you do? What would you do? What would you like to see different? Like, like, if, if something could change tomorrow, what's the most important thing you see as a change? I, I think mean, that I think that Delaware has indicated we're ready to move to phase three. I want to governor what is phase three and let's get that let's get that moving in that right. direction. But it appears that if it don't happen till next year, he's fine with it. Right. I mean, that's and, and, and is that partly political motivation? I don't I don't know. Right. Here's what I've said about some of this. The governor surrounded himself with a lot of educated and, and younger folks. And but no common sense. No experience. Experience. That would be a and good way to put it. Experience and knowledge give you wisdom. And, and sometimes it's very frustrating because people like everybody, when a decision comes down to us, why? Or there's 50 questions from that. And sometimes they're not asking. And I like to say that I, I talked with the chair of the education committee last week. I said, we need to have a meeting to talk about education and what's going on. There's over 19 districts, public school districts. Everybody's doing something different. And... Um, and I, I said, have you talked to the governor? And this is the Democrat that's leading a committee that says, no, he doesn't call me, doesn't return my calls. So I'm like, oh, well, then it's just not, it's just not partisan politics here. It's just some general issues with decision making. You know, um, we're in the middle of election cycle. We have a primary, an important primary for Republicans coming up where we're going to select a gubernatorial candidate. Sussex County, we're going to make some choices on county council. And I'm a Republican who, but I think strategically. And so I'm like, why would you give up a known seat that you have? Because if, if that person prevails in a primary, an elected person now, register wills, that means the governor gets to a point who's going to hold that vacancy for the next two years. Why would we, when we have so few seats, give that up? Because okay. the last time that happened, um, a person, it was a Republican in the seat, they, they won another seat, and that meant the governor appointed, it was a Democrat governor, and he appointed a Democrat. Why would we do that strategically? So, you know, just talking about things in terms of local politics and planning and planning for those kind of things. We, ha we have to think strategically about the best person to do the job, but also if you turn over an office, that means you're turning over the staff many times in that office, too. That's that way. It's like a clean, okay. when a new person comes in, it's a clean sweep. And so just thinking strategically, do, is that the best choice for Republicans in right. Sussex County? I never thought of it like that. Yeah. Wow. So at the moment, if somebody wanted to chat with Ruth or get to know you better or follow you, right. how do you encourage follow me. people? Ruth, Ruth Briggs King on Facebook. Okay. Um, you seem very active there. Yeah, I am. You are. You <laughs> because are. Because I'm out and doing things. And I always like to focus on the people. It's not like I like to take a pose shot of here I am. Because if I'm somewhere, it's to focus on the event right. Right. and really the, capture the people that are there and share that. And, and, that. and you're, but, you're a roll up your sleeves, get involved I am. type person. I in am. other words, you know. Yeah, and so uh, Facebook, uh, Ruth Briggs King at Facebook, uh, Meet Ruth, www.meetruth.com. Okay. And, um, and my telephone number is 302-856-2772. That's the home office phone. I'm wow. rarely there. But people leave a message. Leave a message. Um, 302-841-4249 is my cell number. And text me or call me. That's, that's the best way to get a hold of me. Okay. All right. And um, other than that, any parting words? Um, no, I just want to tell people it's very important in this election cycle to vote. Yes. You know, many people voice their opinions and then you look at it and you see the small percentage of people that actually turn out and vote. On Stand in My Trip across country, everywhere just about we were going was Trump, 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 except when we got near Minnesota, near Minneapolis, then we started to see some, some Biden signs. But um, you need to vote. It's very important in this cycle, especially with the ability potentially for the, for the mail-in voting. 
um, for people that don't normally engage to go ahead and engage. Engage, um, get involved. Or if you, for whatever, but we, right. ne we need you. This, this country needs people to vote. Especially this time, one of the most critical elections in, in the history so. of our lives. I think you so. Know. Okay, well, I'm going to say thank you. Yep. Thanks a lot, and My I pleasure. appreciate your service yep. and thank so you. on. Okay? Take care. All right, see ya. Okay, there she goes, Ruth Briggs King. Uh, good gal and a good worker and a good representative for the state of Delaware. She gets the job done and uh, has been doing a good job doing it. So we have made a switch. We are off the radio. We are just on TV, just on Facebook, just on YouTube, and just in person. So um, it's kind of cool. We're everywhere, folks. So if you have never watched this show before, hang with us. We're going to be with you till 9 o'clock this morning. And uh, we're going to do a good job for you. We're here inside Rudy's Family Restaurant in Harrington, Delaware. And so my next guest is um, Colin Walls. Uh, if he's allowed to come over, I'm not sure. Um, we're ready to chat with him. We're going to be uh, moving right along. So anyway, I just want to say good morning, Colin. And uh, what's going on in your world? Um, my world. New? What is going what? on in your world? What is going on in my world? Well, we've got the new show coming up next week, Anthony Joseph Show. That's coming on right after your show, starting next Saturday. It will be a weekly show, and he's going to have uh, uh, sports, right? local sports, national. So next week, he's going to have Jimmy Johnson on. Uh, he's going to have Clint Boyer on. Clint Boyer. And the rookie sensation, we're still trying to tease his name. Right. Only right. because I can't remember. We don't know what it is. But it's <laughs> fine. Right. Is this Anthony's first TV debut, or has he mainly been radio? No, well, or? yeah, mainly radio, but he's done uh, TV. He was he on, has, okay. he was on WRDE for a I while. I wasn't sure. I, yeah, okay. yeah, so he was uh, one of the sports guys and reporter for WRDE. I wasn't forcing you to with, mention another TV station. No, I, that's just, a, I don't mind. I just, but I, no, I just, I was I mean, asking I, sincerely. I didn't yeah. know if Anthony's ever been on TV. No, he so, has been on TV, and uh, you I know, followed he does a good every job. step of his career, you can tell. <laughs> All right, well, listen. we used to see him when we did we work did. for them. That's we used true. to see him. Now I remember. Now okay. you remember. It's just it's your memory, Jim. It's my memory. <laughs> it's my lack of. memory. It's not your dedication to Anthony's career because you're dedicated to his right. career. I and used to what be he's president of his fan club. <laughs> so, all so, right, so. Anthony is a good guy. Real and, good guy. Uh, you know he's he's Very got this show that's coming on. We want to thank our sponsor, Shell Brothers. Uh, they've done a good job for us. Uh, you know, coming on board. We also want to thank. Uh, Milford Southern States. Milford Southern States. They've come States. on. They're sponsoring okay. the show. And then we have Hopkins Automotive in Seaford and Salisbury. And, you know, if you're looking for a good used car, they got trucks out there. Like really? if you're looking for a work truck. SUVs, I see a lot of them. The SUVs, yeah. Right. But, but a work truck. But, yeah, I'm looking at the work truck. So I'm looking at, like, those Transit Connects. I'm thinking oh, we need yeah. a TV yep. Delmarva van yeah, to go, go out and cover events. I've got the big truck, but I think I need right. something a little smaller. Just a little more It's efficient. hard to parallel park with that thing and in downtown Milford. something easier to start. <laughs> something you could just jump in and start within an hour. <laughs> that thing starts fine. Does it? Most of All the time. Right. Most of the time. <laughs> so <laughs> On the days that it does. On the days right. that it does. Yeah, exactly. All right. So, so anyway. Yeah, so anyway, uh, TV Del Marva, lots going on there. You know, we've got all these, these local shows. Your show, 7 to 9 on Saturdays. Anthony Joseph, starting next week, 9 to 10. Uh, in the studio, or not in the studio, Studio J with Jessica Martinez is uh, 10 to 11 on Saturdays. And then starting next week again. Michael Sprouse is coming back, so it's the re-debut of his show, Coastal A&E, okay. on TV Del Marva. So lots and lots of things happening at TV Del Marva. How do you get TV Del Marva? Good question, Jim. I know Glad that's your I favorite was, question well, to Well, I was thinking about asking it. Point your antenna towards Seaford. Okay. Rescan your television. Look for channel 14, and that's us. You can also that's get it. us on Roku and Amazon Fire Stick and TVDelMarva.com. But coming up in the next few weeks... It's a little delayed. It's not coming as fast as we wanted to. We've had equipment well, problems. Well, I've noticed that. We've gotten equipment. I got it, and it didn't work. Oh. So and I had to order after it again. They forgot to ship it, and then you yes. got it, and now you finally got it, and Ex it didn't work. And wow. now it doesn't work. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, we've got another one ordered from somebody else, and hopefully okay. it, it gets here. So anyway, tvdelmarva.com, TV Delmarva on Facebook. Follow us there. Delmarva Newsnet. Follow us on Facebook there. That's one of the new channels coming up so uh okay. you'll want to follow that for all the latest breaking news latest breaking news yes okay thank you jim thank you did you answer that call okay just leave it there for just a minute if you could okay all right um colin benini is going to be calling in calling in 
So he's on the phone. I'll get with him in just a minute or so. But in the meantime, I want to say thanks a lot to everybody for watching this show. This is a live weekly show. We do it every Saturday. We're about to celebrate our seven-year anniversary. And uh, we have many different people on. We keep the show on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, we look at the numbers. And then you go back a week later and the numbers are bigger. I hear we're coming back on the radio. I'll take a break. Boom. We're back on the radio just like that, folks. So we are now on the radio, we're on TV, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, and we're sitting right here in Harrington, Delaware. And I got a lot to catch up on, so I'm going to do a commercial real quick, and then I'm going to go to the phone lines. I'm going to brag on my pest control company. This is a sponsor segment. This is Integrity Pest Solutions. I love dealing with them. Keith Ruark is a friend of mine, and he's my pest control go-to guy. So whether it's for my house or for my business or for rental properties or for our office complex, whatever we may need help with pest control, Keith Ruark knows what he's doing. He does a fantastic job for me, and he will give you a free estimate slash evaluation of what you need to do. So uh, I talk to people all the time. They say, well, how much is it? Well, you really want him to look at it. So that's what a free evaluation will do for you. He will come to your home or your business, take a look at your situation. You tell him what you're dealing with, and he'll tell you what a solution would be. Now, he has eco-friendly type uh, solutions, and he has just regular solutions. He's been in business a long time. He's been doing this now for over 15 years. He knows what he's doing. He's licensed. He's insured. He's knowledgeable. When you call on the phone, you're going to get Keith. When he comes out to do your evaluation, you're going to get Keith. And when he does the work, you're going to get Keith. He is a one-man operation. I love it. You ever called a company and you get somebody and they come out and you talk to them and you really like them and everything's good. And then they send you somebody out there that just kind of does it any old way. Nothing like the person that talked to you. Keith is the guy. So he's going to talk to you and he's going to do the work and he takes pride in what he does. So I'm letting you know that Keith Ruark, owner operator of Integrity Pest Solutions, will do a good job for you. So one call does it all. You're going to get yourself a free on site evaluation and estimate by calling 302 858 8629. 858 8629. On the web, it's IntegrityPestSolutions.com, and you can find him on Facebook also. The other thing I want to ask is if somebody would pick up the phone this morning and just call Keith and say, thanks for supporting Weller Does Delmarva. He's been an advertiser, a supporter for years, and we appreciate his support. So anyway, it's 858-8629, Keith Ruark, Integrity Pest Solutions. Now, we're going to go to the phone lines if uh, these guys get me connected. And um, if you could go ahead and get the thing ready there, um, Tracy, I'd appreciate it. And uh, we are going to talk and chat with our uh, senator friend, Colin Benini. Colin, are you there? Hey, Jim. Good morning. And how are you feeling today? How's your throat? Uh, well, first of all, I'm sorry I'm not there with you. I kind of, as you know, we talked yesterday. I got one of these summer colds. And don't worry, it's not the it's not the virus, thank goodness. Right. But I got I got one of these summer colds, and it is killing me. Wow. <laughs> Oh, but, well, uh, hopefully it'll uh, move thanks quickly. Thanks so much for having me on, and thanks for understanding. Well, I appreciate it. Now, you are currently a senator, and you oh, yeah. are running for governor. Yes, please vote for me. You should always okay. ask, right, Jim? Right. <laughs> Got to ask for it if you want it. Absolutely. And I, and I, said, I, tell, I tell people, I say, please, because you're asking for something. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and, Jim, again, I apologize a little bit for my voice this morning. but Well, that's fine. Uh, but if you and I have talked over the years, by the way, congratulations on seven years. I heard that I in the pre uh, when I, I was waiting. That's fantastic. That's I can't fantastic. believe I stuck with it this long. So yeah, but, good for you, Jim. That's yeah. good. Well, and, and, and you know, and that and uh, and Harrington that is that's a really really and Harrington's a great place. So now uh, you, you're not a stranger to the political climate. No. All right. And how long have you been involved in politics? So I first ran uh, for the state senate uh, back in 1994. Okay. Uh, I, I jokingly tell people I was 11 years old. You know, child wow. prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> so I was 20. I was 28 when I started the campaign, and 29 when I got elected. Wow. Uh, youngest. Yeah, I was the youngest senator. Uh, I don't know. About, I'm not sure if it was ever or not, but I was definitely the youngest senator for uh, for decades and decades. And uh, uh, so I've been in the Senate for 
20, uh, at this point, 25 years. And, uh, and as you know, Jim, I'm a staunch conservative. That's, right. that's who I am. That's what I always run on. That's, that's how I uh, vote. And, uh, uh, and I've been reelected, been very blessed to be reelected uh, uh, seven, seven or eight times in my district, uh, eight, eight, eight total elections, and uh, strong conservative principles. And, and, and Jim, I think those are what we need. Uh, I think that Delaware, Delaware in the 80s and, uh, you know, under Pete DuPont and, and that era was a very different place than it is today. And, and quite frankly, it was a lot better place. Our economy was booming. Crime was down. I mean, I don't, people don't, people sort of forget this history, Jim. And, that, and of course, you know this, but in, in the, you know, as recently as the late 80s, which isn't that recently, but it's, right. but it's not ancient history. Delaware was ranked as one of the best economies in the country. Right, we were, I mean, and we were, we, you know, and we were creating jobs left and right, and we had some of the highest paying jobs. Right, and, uh, and unfortunately, under Democrat leadership, it has uh, it has gone it has gone the other way. And so, what do you want people to know about you? In other words, you're obviously, you know, a seasoned, accomplished, you know, person in in the political arena. Um, you feel, I'm sure, you can hit the ground running right from day one. But what? What do you want them to know, or what would you have done different, or what would you like to do for the state that, that you think you can play a role in making a difference as governor? Yeah, well, as governor. Well, thanks, Jim. And that's, that's, that is that's the question, right? So so the first thing is we talk, is for one thing, just on base politics, I think I have the best chance of winning. It's just that, it's, it's, you know, I think we, it's important that the Republican Party nominate someone who has who has a, a legitimate chance to win in November and I think I think I'm that person okay but the other thing is I think you're exactly right I mean I'm I know state government and, and all of its warts and trust me there's a whole lot of warts and and we need someone who's gonna you know day one understand what needs to get done and what, and what needs to get fixed and uh, and I think I had that ex- I think I had that experience and and the, the other issue Jim is I'm a private sector guy like you I mean I've been working in the private sector since 13 years old on my own business half for years right uh, you know, so I bring that private sector experience. But the, but the bottom line is that our state government has to has to change course on a variety of measures. One of them, the biggest one, of course, is is we're talking about the response to the Wuhan COVID virus, which I think uh, right now the state government's response has been, I sort of I call it the the worst of both worlds, where we we still have very significant health issues, especially for the elderly and and those with. Uh, compromised the uh, health health situations. We have uh, very high numbers of infection. We're, we're we are quarantined by other states, but at the same time, we have our state policy has been absolutely devastating to our economy. There's just no other word for it. Absolutely right. devastating to our economy. And the current administration just doesn't have any private sector folks uh, advise. You know, the current governor doesn't have any private sector folks advising him. Mm-hmm. And I just think that's that's criminal. So I I, I would absolutely. What I, how I view it, Jim, is I think the current administration, the current administration, looks at the state and says, "We're going to close down unless you give us a reason to open up." And I think that's 180 degrees the wrong way to look at it. Right. The way to look at it is, Jim, you are you're a smart, confident business owner, nonprofits, schools, uh, uh, churches, houses of worship. You know what's you know your people. You you're, you use common sense. You should be up and thriving and driving this economy and, and, and making Delaware the great place it is to live unless me, the government, right, unless unless the, the government has reason to, to close you down. That's a right. very different ideological perspective, and that's the perspective uh, that I would bring. I think the other issue is our economy, Jim, is just is not great. It was not great even prior to the, to, uh, the pandemic. Folks, they go, the pandemic is really... Than a number, but the reality is Delaware had one of the worst economies in the region, if not the whole country, prior to the pandemic. Right, we're a high, uh, we're a high tax, high regulation, high labor cost, high utility cost state, and all of those things are, you know, if we have the right leadership in the governor's office, and I hope that's going to be me, uh, all of those things are things that we can address. And Jim, businesses want to come here, yeah. but but we have a we have a government. Uh, bureaucracy that makes that really discourages it. I mean, our our, ge- our geographic location, uh, uh, you know, the high level of education, especially up in Newcastle County. I mean, we have we have lots of lots of uh, really positive things to offer businesses to come here and to grow here. And current businesses, your your successful business owners, to grow here. But the state government's got to get out of the way. And I and I'm over the years have uh, 
propose lots of legislation to do that, and I think I know exactly how to do that. So, mm -hmm. so uh, you know, the reality is that we need we need someone, as you said, who who can hit the ground running, and it's going to change things, and has the political courage to fight to change those things. And and Jim, and, and you and I have talked over the years. And I think you've looked at my record. I mean. I think anybody will say, you know, I'm I'm a fighter, and I think that's uh, critically important to to, uh, to to put somebody in there on that. And the other the other issue, and this is a little bit more specific, but I'm really concerned about where the current administration is going in terms of senior citizens. And in the last few years, I mean, I was I, I, I was able to fight off a statewide property tax last year. The Democrats are proposing eliminating the seniors uh, tax uh, credit program. I was able to stop that. Uh, so, you know, I think the bottom line is we also need to, to uh, have a governor who understands a lot, that a lot of seniors bring positive things to Delaware. Right. And, and right. We, want, we want Delaware to be a place that seniors want to come and, and, uh, and contribute. And they are, they are uh, very much so trying to raise taxes on seniors. I've been successful in stopping that. Well, how would somebody learn more about you? Where do we steer them? A phone number? A well, web address? Sorry, or? It, it, Thanks, Jim. And despite my voice, I'm still too chatty, right? <laughs> that, that's fine. But um, so, where do I steer people? So, so it, uh, the website is bonini for delaware dot com. Bonini f o r delaware dot com. And uh, uh, we're also on Facebook. If you just go Facebook for you know bonini for delaware on Facebook, we have a very active Facebook page. And our campaign phone number is three zero two, obviously. Two eight three nine six six one three zero two two eight three nine six six one. All and, right. And Jim, our, just real quickly, our our theme for our campaign is is we're saying, Colin Benini for Delaware. We can fix this. And the reality is, I think we can fix this, but we need to elect a uh, good, strong, conservative leadership to do so. Let him get in there. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you, Colin. So I hope you're feeling better, and I wish you uh, well. Jim, thanks so much, and, and thanks, uh, thanks again for understanding of my poll. Yep. And thanks for what you're doing. It's so exciting. Seven years. That's fantastic. Yep. Congratulations. All right. Well, take care. Thank you for your service. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Bye. All right, everybody. There he goes, Colin Benini. Check him out. Learn about him. Um, he is. He wants to be your next governor. He's there. He's ready. All right. Now let's talk about another sponsor segment. This is Dave Wilson. Wilson's Auction on Route One Thirteen in Lincoln, Delaware. Open today. Today at ten o'clock, you can go to their auction. It is today. It will go all day into the afternoon, into the evening, and uh, then Tuesday nights they have an auto auction. But then I wanted to tell you about an auction that's coming up on the twenty ninth couple weeks away, just a couple weeks away, it's at Hickory Ridge Antique Tractor Show in outside of Milford. Uh, this is a big event that's coming up, but they are absolutely going to be having some things for auction that day. So I want to let you know that if you want to consign something for that auction, you need to get up with Wilson's Auction and get it on the list so they can get it in their advertisement, all right? So anyway, you got Wilson's Auction today starting at 10 o'clock all day and into the evening. Every Saturday, they're there on Route 113 in Lincoln with the auction. Then you got Tuesday nights at 6 o'clock. If you want to buy or sell an automobile, you can do that. And then on the 29th, they are taking items now on consignment, in other words, to be sold on the 29th at the Hickory Ridge Antique Tractor Show. Okay? So, wilsonsauction.com. Like them on Facebook. Phone number is 422 3454 422 3454. Check them out there. All right. We got a lot of things going on. I want to mention another good sponsor of the show. This guy has been very busy, very busy with tree work. Okay. So we've had some storms, some wind damage, and so on. And this is Jerry's Lawn Care. Jerry Santoro, Jerry's Lawn Care. Good local guy. He does lawn work. He does pavers. He does irrigation systems. He digs footers and foundations. He clears lots, but he can help you if you got some tree damage, okay? He's got a bucket truck. He's got all kinds of equipment. He can clean it up. He can dig up the stumps or grind them up or whatever needs to be done. He can take care of it for you. So if you've had some damage or you've got some trees that are leaning or you're a little worried, the next storm's going to blow them over into your house. You got lucky on this storm, but you just want to get rid of the trees. You give Jerry a call and he will help you out. If you need any other types of services, yard work, 
or anything like that, you give him a call. He's licensed. He's insured. He knows what he's doing. He's honest. He's fair. Estimates are free. His name is Jerry Santoro, and his business is called Jerry's Lawn Care. Phone number 363-6025. 363-6025-JLC-LLC.com on the web if you want to check him out now i see indian bob is here and i'm just going to ask i have you on after 8 30 but i have time now if you want because i know you got to get somewhere so it's up to you if you want to do that i think we're all sanitized and that way i could get you on the road but i see your vehicles out here your trailers all lettered up and um i know you're going to a big event i believe it's down in bridgeville today and um down below wellers is it an antique alley? Is it's that where it's at? It's an antique alley outdoor auction. Sure. All right. So we're posing for a picture real quick, and uh, then we're going to keep right on talking. I'm not allowed to stop because the microphone <laughs> will turn off. But anyway, so um, Indian Bob, local guy. You make crafts, different things, uh, veteran, a true Indian, and uh, just and a good all-around good guy, good they tell me. Just a good all-around guy. I like that. All right. Yeah, um, but, yeah we're, we're wanting to promote a couple different things. We're, go ahead. We're, we're branching out and moving into some bigger things. All uh, right. We are looking and starting. We're doing sales and installation of electronic message boards. Okay. All right, inside, just, outside? In, so inside and outside. Okay. okay. We're doing the outside like you see at a lot of gro uh, big thing stores. Like okay. There. Uh, we do anything from almost the size of billboards. Really? Wow. So it, we, we branched out into that there and everything now. I mean, the craft show thing is still going on, but we've had a lot of shows canceled. Oh, this, this year. year has got to have it, been it, terrible for and that. We've got some stuff coming up, Marine. We are actually doing the Hickory Ridge show. Oh, you're going to have it? You're going to be will, there? Okay. We'll be there for four, all four days. Okay. So good. Yeah, so I'll be there for that. Uh, we're going down to Antique Alley this morning. And uh, at Antique Alley today, it's an outside vendor it's, show. It's an outside vendor show. Uh, 20, 30, 40. Be, Somewhere about, I'm going to say between 20 and 30 vendors. Okay, so and it's free to go to. And it's free to go to, and they also have a food truck set up today, pretty good food yep. truck. So if you're looking for something to do right now today. They are open. They're swinging live right Right, now. and you'll be down there by 10 o'clock set up? Uh, so whenever I get out of here, I'm heading down there, and it'll take okay. me about 30 minutes to get set up. And everything. Okay. And I'm kind of watching the weather because we got some rain coming in. Right. And I can't afford for stuff to get rain Wet. on. Right. So uh, you make some unique items. Describe a couple of them if you uh, could. Well, we do custom orders on American flags okay. for memorial style and military. Not just a wavy flag. We're and talking we do, about on wood. And, and, and anything's all wood and everything like that there. But we do the wavy style on wood. Right. Oh, really? Okay. okay. So, I mean, okay. those are all hand cut with chainsaw. Really? So we do those and everything, but we custom order those. And we do the, uh, if it's for a military personnel, something like that there that's had service. We do their names in gold braid lettering. Good idea. And we put that on there as personalized to it, and we also do CSC routing on it. Uh, we'll, we'll route the logo into it for the branch service. Wow, so this is a real keepsake. You yes. know, what a great gift idea. Christmas is Christmas not far is away. Coming, and we Think are, ahead. We are running some specials right now and everything. If okay. we've got a military that uh, contacts us right now and everything, up until Christmas and everything, receive $25 off all really? our flag orders. Okay. So, I mean, that's right off the jump. And what we'll do, we will work with the person. We will do a consign, or design first right. and get an approval, and they'll see an actual photo of what it'll look like when it's done. And then wow. we create it. Wow, no surprises. Custom fit to them. So, I mean, that, that way they can pick and choose color-wise if, if they've got something that's particular that they want onto it. Right. We can, we can make it happen. Wow. Well, very good. So how does somebody reach you or learn more? Because does it, is it your Facebook page that has a lot a, of pictures? I've got a Facebook page. Everything that I create new and everything uh, is automatically put on the Facebook page. And what's that? Uh, it's Indian Bob Creations. Indian Bob Creations. I want some people today, please, to go like that page just for the heck of it. That, okay. And we're, we're trying to do a lot of sponsorships and everything. If we can, everything like with Hickory Ridge, we're actually doing a donation to them. Oh, for something for, that they'll for, auction yeah, off? Well, no, we're, we're no. actually doing a donation for them for their outdoor signage. Oh, oh, so good they, idea. They, okay. They, they, last year, everything, they kind of had, you know, it was new for them last year. Right. And we kind of helped them along. So we are actually donating a large four by eight sign to put on the highway for them. Very the nice. Very nice. So we're working on that now. That's in the process. So we got the Facebook page is one way. Do you and want to give out a phone you number? You can reach me at 
8859. All right. And, and you uh, can also go to my webpage, which is IndianBobCreations.com. IndianBobCreations.com. Real or, unique, one-of-a-kind type things. Or you can actually hit IndianBob.us. IndianBob.us. Okay. We have a couple different ro- we, we have a couple different domains that take you to the same page. Right. Very good. And uh, we are in with uh, we have a GoDaddy site set up. Okay. And it, everything is on the site. And everything is can be ordered. Uh, we're also doing a lot of cornhole boards right now. And everything people are ordering. Done a great boards. thing. Yep. Yep. So we actually, and you can customize them. We, we do anything graphics wise that you want on them. Everything if they want them hand painted, or we could do uh, custom print graphics. That's a good thing because everybody's cooped up. They want to get outside, get the kids off the couch, buy a set of cornhole boards. We're actually doing and, some uh, mini boards. Mini we're, boards, we're, okay, we're, really? We're, 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 Is that for we're, in the house? We're, we're gearing news for more or less, you know, for the children, stuff like okay. that. Okay, that you know they can have something in their backyard. They're just two foot by two foot with little mini bags, really? and they've got like SpongeBob, you know, SpongeBob's on them, uh, different characters and that sort of thing. Easier for them to set up and take down. And all you got to do is fold the legs out and stand them up and go. Now, will they be for sale today? At- uh, no, I don't. Ha- I've got uh, an older set and everything. That okay, was, uh, this was actually a set that I've got with me today. It was a mistake. And we've got those marked down at, at practically dirt cheap. Uh, really? it's, not even, it's not even paying for the materials I've got into it, but uh, just to let them go. What out. do they look like? What do they yeah, got they're on sitting them? Sitting right there on the back of my truck. They've got a wood green, just a wood burn green. That's all really? they are. They was, okay. They were. They 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 didn't come out the way I liked them. I wasn't necessarily happy with them, so I figured I'd just let them go. Okay. So how much are they? They're only fifty bucks today for both of them. For both of them. Comes with the bags. No, the bags. You'll have to order the bags. You get them okay. on Amazon for. Uh, so you 20, get the two boards. That's just twenty five bucks a piece. Twenty five bucks a piece. Wow, like that said. is a good deal. And that's just a, that's ba- a good that's deal. Just a, like I said, I'm not I'm not satisfied with the set and everything because of the way it came out, they are usable and everything like right, that. But they're right. not great. Right. They're not one of my actual custom sets. Right. I got you. But you can customize it. I mean, could you put like a business logo on a set I can of a? Put any business logo. I could put your face on there, just. Wow. Blah, 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 blah. I know that. Think about but... this Christmas gift. <laughs> Let's say you own a business. Like, let's say, and you sell to customers, and you want to give them a gift. Like, let's say I was a realtor, and I sold you a house. How much is a set of cornhole boards? Uh, I charge one fifty for a basic set, and that's with the bags. Well, what about with your face on them? With the face and everything, you're looking at $200. $200. So think about this, Indian Bob. If I was a realtor, and I sold somebody a house, and I never wanted them to forget me, I would give them a set of cornhole boards. Yep, that would be a Because every one. time they plop them out and play them, all their guests and everybody are realizing this is their favorite realtor. Well, on top of that, there this we can is actually, a great idea. We can actually take their photo of their house that they just bought and put it on the cornhole boards. What another great thing! Or somebody had a baby, you could put the picture of the baby on it, and those cornhole boards could be from the year the baby was born. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when you get married, you could get a picture of your spouse, so you never forget when your anniversary is. <laughs> Golly day, I'm rolling here now. Yeah, he's on a roll. I'm on a roll. I'll be selling cornhole boards before you know it. Hey, just one quick question. We're out of time. Bauer Signs, do you know him? Actually, I work with him. We're right now in the process of getting the uh, Dover Downs racetrack painted. What is his name? Jeff? Travis. Travis. But Travis what Bowers. was his father's name? Uh, he has that yellow bus with a big motor had, in it. It, it. At the time, he did. I'm, I'm not sure I if he still does I bought magnetic or not. signs off of him years ago. Right. Well, I, I've been in cahoots with him and everything, and him and I are working together on a lot of different projects. Him and I are actually working together on the electronic signs. Right. And uh, anything comes up, like right now, we're painting all the walls of the track, getting ready for the race next weekend. Really? All right. Well, i got to let you go, okay? All right. So I appreciate go it. have a good time today. I might make my way down there. I'm not sure. But thank you for your support of Weller Does Delmarva. One more time, Indian Bob Creations. IndianBobCreations.com or IndianBob.us. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Have a good day. Sell something. All right. Now, I'm telling you, my mind's rolling on them customized cornhole boards. Okay? I hear the music. The radio is going to stop. We're going to take a break from the radio, but um, we're going to keep right on trucking, so don't miss anything. Go to James Weller on Facebook or TV Delmarva right now because Colin Walls is going to tell you something that you maybe have never heard before, okay? So anyway, good morning, everybody, and we are here, and our next guest is going to be Colin Walls, TV Delmarva. Got a lot of things going on today. I have gotten way behind 
way behind. Uh, rabbit trails, too long-winded. Man, we got to give away some stuff. We already gave away some stuff, but we have got a lot of commercials to do. But the next thing we're going to do is sit down with Colin Walls. We are going to brag on TV Delmarva, Anthony Joseph, Michael Sprouse, Jessica Martinez, and everybody in between, Team TV Delmarva. Am I hearing the radio? No, you just turned on his microphone is what it was. I got it. I was panicking. You were hearing yourself. I was hearing myself. Through this mic. Through that mic. That's right. That was cool. That's what it was. All right. Colin, tell me something good. Well, so I just got this. Uh, remember the show we used to do, Walls and Weller? Yes. So I just got this notification from a couple years ago. Now, two years ago, this week, okay. this Saturday, we had uh, the show, your show, Weller Does Del Marva, right. was down at uh, Smith's Cafe. Okay, in Seaford. In Seaford. And remember we had a guest just kind of walk on the show? Yes. Kind of bust his way on there. That's what this was. So I'm going to share this bust later. Bust a move. Check, check out, bust a move. Check out my Facebook. Friend me on Facebook. I'll make sure it's public so everybody okay. can see it if, if you're not friends with me. Um, this is really good. So it's, this was the Walls and Weller show where we were recapping what happened on there. Really? Yeah, so it was really good. We had kind it of was a really good story. Right. Yeah, Behind so the scenes. There was the lawsuits lawsuit. threatened. Right. There was yep. lots of. Yeah. So yeah. That was pretty good. That was really good. So we've had lots of good times on this show. We're coming up oh, on seven, seven years. years. Isn't that kind September. Of neat? Yep. And this be... is seven years just of this show. Just think right. of all the things we did before this. And in between. And we've in between. done things other than this show. Right. So right. 2012, I think, was about the time we really got into to doing our own shows and, and things like that. So it was 2012. That's been over eight years ago yeah, that on. we started that. But the first Weller Does Del Marva show was actually at Wall Service Center, my right. shop in Out Milford, yep. and the Riverwalk Freedom Festival. I remember you and Dan Gaffney gonna hooking up all them wires. Yes. You know, remember some of the parades that we've done together? Oh, yeah. The Milford Community Parade. I saw so, that they just... We're talking about all these things that are canceled now. Right. The right. Riverwalk Festival is canceled. The parade, the Milford Parade, has now they just announced yesterday didn't, or the day before that was canceled. And didn't we broadcast from Apple Scrapple one year and I wasn't there? We did Apple Scrapple. Yeah, uh, me and Jack Riddle, I think, hosted your was show Mike that year. Dr. T on that Dr. Day? T was too. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Man, we need to just do a show about what we remember but, <laughs> before we forget it all. Well, that'd be a good short show. <laughs> that'd be a good short show, <laughs> what yeah. What we remember. But, um, That's yeah. why we had the Facebook memories come up to remind us. But you've done but, so good at learning and figuring things out. I've been with you when the internet goes out and you figure out a way. I never saw you, saw you bring electricity back to life, though. But <laughs> I've, I've seen you bring generators, internet. Generators. Yep, yep generators. But, but, but you, know, you know what it comes from? Not being afraid to fail. True. That's the biggest thing. I, 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 that's the, how we learn. Right. Is you that fail is. at a lot of things. And, and I'm going to say... Hey, Bill. Was that Billy Towers? We, that is, yeah. Okay. Yep. Had that Joe Biden mask on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'll get in trouble for that. <laughs> right. But, but we, we failed on huge proportions. Just nobody knew it. Try, <laughs> yes, they did. We they didn't did. know it. They didn't tell us. Well, they did right. try to tell us, right. but we didn't believe it. Right. It's like when we do something really bad and our mom just doesn't tell us. <laughs> That's right. Oh, you, you guys know. did such a good job. <laughs> right. It but has been interesting. It I will has say been that. very interesting. You know, but, and it started out with a little webcam yeah. this big, and now it's grown, grown into a TV station. Right, and them two One or three hundred dollar cameras. And <laughs> yeah, two or three hundred dollars, right. Yeah. Get a quote from Kevin Short on those. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But, but it you has. Know, and look at all the people that have benefited from this. I mean, all yeah. the different guests we've had, organizations. Yep. Man, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of mind-boggling. But we've had a great following, a good audience. We've had some people call us clowns. You know, uh, but other, those were the right, fun times. <laughs> those were the fun times, right? Oh, we had other, a lot of fun. Other with that. radio personalities called us. It was clowns. They called us, right? Clowns, and uh, there was another word he used too. But okay, I can't even remember it. That's it was good. so good. Uh, it was so good. <laughs> that that yep. memory just I, came up, uh, you know, a few days ago too, or a couple weeks really? ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was very critical. He he was so good at what he did. He had to move seven or eight states away <laughs> to find a job. Right in the middle of nowhere, right. in the middle of <laughs> South Dakota or somewhere. I think. Because I do joke about it, but, but you figure seven, eight years, we've been doing this longer than people that do it for a living. This is longer than, yes. 
I mean, yeah. other than Dan Gaffney, there's probably just a... There's, there's only a handful few, of people on the radio currently... Still working. ...that probably have not been in it as long right. as we have. So now the good thing is we can't get fired. <laughs> right. We can only get sued. <laughs> right. As long as we still have our regular jobs to help Correct. support our right. hobby here, then right. we're okay. This is our hobby, folks, in other words. <laughs> yeah, you can are, tell. Are we on the radio? Did they give up on us? They've left me. (laughs) But (laughs) (laughs) what? But you know, other than probably other than Dan Gaffney, I would say nobody in Sussex County or maybe even Delaware has done as many live remotes. And look at how many people that have followed our lead. Yeah. In other words, there's a whole lot more people now, a little bolder, a little braver. Yeah, yeah. I mean, good. Ivory Hopkins, I, I heard him talk oh. one day about how I somehow inspired him to some degree to be a little more outward and yeah. to just go after it. I think Ivory was already outward. Right. But, I, I yeah. just helped him come out of his shell. Yeah, right. He yeah. was a big turtle coming out of his <laughs> shell. So. But there's a lot of people that are a little more comfortable in their skin and yeah. a little more comfortable at doing stuff. We, so. we made all the failures for them. Right. Right. You got to pause. All right. Good morning. I got to pause. How are you? Good. I like what you've done with your hair. Oh, you <laughs> left it home. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're back on the radio. I was chatting with Colin Walls. I just want to say thanks a lot for Colin's help. Colin the second was just a little kid, man. Yeah. Colin brought him in a bassinet when all this started. <laughs> you know? But And then Jonathan's been uh, helping us, and it's just – It's been a family affair. It's been a really neat thing to see all of these different shows, Catch It Live, Walls and Weller, Weller does Delmarva. I don't even remember what else we've got. But you've got the TV thing now, and I'm proud of seeing that happen. And uh, life is moving on. We just need people to support us financially. That's all. Right. We just need your money. That's all. We just need your money. (laughs) Other than that, we're good. Yeah. Don't worry about us. We just need your money. But other than that. Let is us that, be more specific. Is that chair lower than normal, Jim? It like might what? be. Oh, this is a new chair. I hate it. <laughs> I hate low. it. It's cheap. <laughs> it's cheesy. My old chair, my <laughs> old chair I gave to straight. somebody that works for me. Sit up straight, Jim. I am sitting no, up straight. No, sit up straight. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, well, Colin, I'm going to let you yeah, go. Yeah, you got work okay. to do. I do. I'm a little behind, okay? Thank you. All right, a little behind. All right. Now, here we go. We're going to crank through some stuff. If you want two tickets to the Clayton Theater, you pick them up at Wellers in Bridgeville and you go to the Clayton Theater, call me right now while I'm doing these commercials. And as soon as I'm done talking, I'll get you on and I'll give you two tickets to the Clayton Theater if you call 422-7336. First person I want to brag about is my chiropractor. Who is he, everybody? Sponsor segment, Dr. T, Dr. Bud, Dr. Trillia, and Dr. Bud. Two different people. They work at Peninsula Chiropractic Center. In fact, Dr. T actually owns it. And it's a locally owned and operated chiropractic center. They're located on Route 13 in Seaford. And I love dealing with them. How long have I dealt with them? For years and years and years and years. I go there for all kinds of aches and pains. Whatever I need. My wife goes. My kids go. My grandkids go. I got employees that go. It's a great place for chiropractic care. It's like a wellness center. So if you need chiropractic care, if you're not sure if chiropractic care can help you, they will help you find that answer. They accept most insurances. Very friendly. Very easy to get an appointment. Just give them a call. It's 629-4344. That's 629-4344. Peninsula Cairo Center.com on the web and like them, like them, like them on Facebook. Okay? Caller, are you there? Hey, Jim, how you doing today? I'm doing good. Are you calling for a couple tickets? Yes, I've been in Delaware since 2002 and never been to the Clayton Theater. Wow, well that this will be nice. It's 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 been around like seventy years. It's got a balcony, and uh, I don't know if you like popcorn, but they have popcorn. And um, I'm going to give you two tickets. Is that okay? Sounds great to me, Jim. Yeah. And what is your name? I'm Ron in Georgetown. Ron in Georgetown. Now you got to pick them up at Wellers in Bridgeville. And I know exactly where you're located. I beat my horn every time I go by. Well, thank you. And I wanted to tell you that we're open Tuesday through Saturday, okay? Not, we're not open Monday and Sunday, okay? Great. Also, Jim, I bought a great flagpole from you. It's standing in my front yard, and I look at it every time. I thank to you guys. Well, thank you very much, Ron. And um, I think you've been a good supporter and listener of the show, as well as supporting Wellers. So thank you. 
together. So I got Ron down for two tickets to the Clayton, okay? Thanks, Jim. Have a great day. Yep. I'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Oh, I wanted to know if he was on TV or radio. I messed up on that. All right. Let's do another sponsor segment, but the phones are open. 422-7336. If you want two tickets to the Clayton Theater, call. Hold on. As soon as I get done, done talking about my accountant, you can uh, get on the air with me, and I'll give you two tickets. 422-7336. Call now, and I'll be right with you. Let's talk about this sponsor segment. This is my accountant, George Luff. Boy, there are so many things changing as far as business and um, different programs and loans and uh, what do, what's the economy going to be like and strategy. I'm talking to my accountant quite a bit. So I deal with George Luff. I also deal with his son, Tyler, and Team Luff. They do a great job for me. They've been in business over 30 years in our community. They have three locations, Milford, Dover, and Rehoboth. And I'm a very happy Luff & Associates customer. So if you need help with your accounting, personal or business, or you're settling in a state and you got some tax questions, they can help you out, okay? Also, they have a service called Easy Payroll, where they help businesses with their payroll. So if you own a business and you're tired of all the changes and you've got questions and you just want to run your business and let somebody else help with your payroll, whether you deal with them for your accounting work or not, they will help you with their Easy Payroll system. So how do you get hooked up with them? You call them on the phone. The phone number is 302 422-9699, 422-9699. LuffCPAs.com on the web. Tell them I sent you. They're good people. They'll do a good job for you. I believe we have somebody been holding on on the telephone. Caller, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Jim. And um, who am I talking to? Emery. Emery, are you going to take these movie tickets? Yeah, I'll take them. All right. They're, They're a good bunch of people down there. Have you ever been to the Clayton? Yes. And, they are uh, nice, friendly people. And what is your favorite movie? I, the first movie I ever saw down there was the one that Billy Towers was in. Oh. With, um, the, with Richard Pryor. That was pretty cool. Billy Towers was just here. Yeah, Grease Lightning. Grease Lightning. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm going to set two tickets aside. Now, do you know where Wellers is in Bridgeville? I think I've been there a time or two. All right. Well, we'll set two aside for you, Emery. And you pick them up when you can, Okay. Yeah, have you got any more of those flashlights? Um, I'm not positive of that. I'll check. How many do you want? I, I don't know. I want to get five, at least five more because they, okay. they are nice flashlights. I gave right. them away. Let me get back to you on that. Is that okay? That's fine. I'll call you about you the flashlights. Messages. Okay. Well, I'll get them sooner or later. Okay, buddy. See ya. Take care. You too. Have a fine day now. Have a fine day and a weller night. I'll see ya. There you go. All right. We're going to do another sponsor segment real quick. We're going to blow through these, but the phone lines are open. 422-7336. Giving away two tickets to the Clayton. You got to pick them up at Weller's, so call right now and hold on. And while I talk about Mid-South Audio, which has been another great supporter, sponsor, friend of the show, thank you, Kevin and Debbie Short. I appreciate you for your support, but I more importantly appreciate you for your friendship. Kevin has got some breaking news. He's got a new location Grand opening coming up. The clock is ticking. September 26th is right around the corner. And more info to come. But Kevin Short, Mid-South Audio, is a great business. Whether you need it to rent it or buy it, if you need advice or input, anything, audio, lighting, video, you know, he can help you out. So check him out at MidSouthAudio.com. Like him on Facebook and stay tuned for that grand opening September 28th at their new location. All right, caller, are you there? Yeah, good morning, Jim. How you doing this morning? Real good. And are you on the radio, TV, or how are you knowing about this show? On the radio, going down the road, but I've actually been on your show, too. All right. And who am I talking to? Don Dickerin. Don, how are you doing, my friend? Good, my friend. Doing great. How about yourself? Good. I'm doing good. And um, would you like a couple tickets to the movies? Yes, sir. That's our favorite little theater for my wife and I. You've been there before, evidently. Oh, yes, sir. And um, it's kind of it's kind of cozy, but modern, but but nice, isn't it? Well, it's great because you know all the change of these mega theaters and everything. It just has the feel of yesterday. Yes, it does with comfortable seats. Absolutely. Yes. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to set two tickets aside. They're at Weller's. Uh, we're closed Sunday and Monday, so just Tuesday through Saturday. You could pick them up sometime and then go to the movies. That's great. That's awesome, Jim. I appreciate it. Really do. All right. Well, have a safe weekend, okay? You too, my friend. Thank you, Don. Bye-bye. Yes, sir.
Bye bye. All right, folks, that's what we're doing. We're giving away tickets to the Clayton Theater. People love it. People have been. It's kind of a walk back in time with a comfy feel. Open seven days a week um, at seven. And uh, they got matinees too. So uh, if you want two tickets, call while I do these commercial segments and then I'll get right to you. I'm going to talk about Ocean Medical Imaging. This is another sponsor segment. I have been dealing with Ocean Medical Imaging for years. Been very, very happy with them. I, I was just recently got another MRI of a knee. And uh, I like the fact that when I call, I can get in rather quickly. They accept most insurances. Um, if you need a disc of it, they'll give you the disc right then and there. Um, they are located in Milton. It is uh, owned by Dr. Patterson and his wife, and it's a family-owned and operated business. They're celebrating 11 years of serving their community, okay? Easy scheduling, minimal wait time, state-of-the-art equipment, and a fraction of the cost of other places. So in, in the event you're paying out of your pocket or in the event your insurance company makes you put things towards your deductible before, before they spend any money, you naturally want to go somewhere that might be 50 to 75 percent less than other places. So rapid turnaround time report typically is sent out within four to 24 hours. Dr. The, Dr. Jonathan Patterson, Patterson is the owner. Nice friendly guy. His whole team is good. You know when you need imaging, you're nervous, you're not sure what's wrong with you. They're very accommodating from the minute you call on the telephone to set up your appointment. When you get there, they get you in. They're very helpful, very friendly, very pleasant. It's a good experience. And like I say, when you're needing something like an MRI or a CT scan or a mammogram or a mammography, um, an ultrasound or an X-ray or an EKG, you want to deal somewhere that treats you like the customer and treats you like a human being and is concerned that you're concerned for your health. So I want you to give them a call. It's 684-5151, 684-5151. It's oceanmedicalimaging.net. And um, I just want you to check them out. Like them on Facebook, Ocean Medical Imaging of Delaware. Good people, friendly, pleasant, clean, um, does a good job, very affordable, and they will take good care of you. All right, 684-5151. Now we got another phone call. Caller, are you there? I got Thank you for hanging on. You got to turn your volume down. You're getting feedback. All right, hang on. All righty. We're hanging on. We're hanging can you on. Hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. What is your name? Debbie Carey. Debbie. Diane Carey. D oh, Diane Carey. How you doing? I'm good, Jim. How are you? You're a friend of the Clayton Theater. Absolutely. And you're from down that way, and I'm going to make you drive all the way to Bridgeville. Well, um, how, what's your hours today? Because I'm coming through Bridgeville. Well, we'll be there today till 2. Okay. Well, maybe so, I'll stop by. You stop by. We're going to set two tickets aside for you, and you can stop in and pick them up, and then you can go to the Clayton whenever you want. Is that okay? That sounds great. Thank you very much. Hey, if you had to put in a plug for the Clayton, what would you say about the Clayton Theater that you love? Friendliest little movie. I've been going there for I won't say how many years, but it's absolutely the best little show in town. Right. Well, very good. And are you listening on the radio, watching on TV? What's the story? On the radio. On the radio. Well, thank you, Diane, and um, have a good weekend, okay? All right. Bye -bye. See you. Bye-bye. All right. That was Diane Carey. She made a beautiful cake one time that looked just like the Clayton Theater. She's very talented at cake making. I don't even think she does it for a living. I'm just saying she's very talented at it. But I want to say I'm going to do another sponsor segment real quick. I'm trying to catch up on things. But if you want two tickets to the Clayton, call me right now. He forgot his mask. 422-7336. 422-7336. Hold on, and I'll be right with you. Listen, let's talk about Josh McNeil, another sponsor segment of Weller Does Del Marva. Thank you, Josh McNeil and his family for supporting the show. This is McNeil's Paving. Whether you need some blacktop work done, we've had a lot of rain, maybe you got a dri driveway that's dirt or stone or it's a little muddy, you're just fed up with it and you want a nice new blacktop driveway, he can hook you up. He's a, uh, been in business quite a while now, so it's a third-generation company. They've been in business serving all of Canton, Sussex County, Maryland, and Virginia. Residential, commercial, paving, seal coat, repairs, tar and chip, filling cracks, whatever you need done, McNeil's Paving can help you out. They're licensed. They're insured. Estimates are free. Their phone number is, are you ready? It's 302 
945 945-7131. Give them a call. McNeil's Paving. Tell them I sent you. Whatever you need done, they'll do you a good job. And uh, I really appreciate their support of the show. McNeil's Paving, 302 302- 945-7131. Give them a call. Check them out and tell them Jim Weller sent you. Now we're going to brag about, nope, we're going to take a phone call. We've got a phone call. I can't believe it. Caller, are you there? Yes. And, good uh, morning, Jim. Good morning, Jim Weller. Good morning. And who am I talking to? You're not a good guesser. Oh, not guess, today. Guess, guess who it is and I'll buy you lunch. Charles Jones. Nope, close. Oh, I'm going to give up. Just tell me who it is. Live right down the road from you. Black truck. Jack Ennis. Go for it. I finally... Come on. Come on, Dad. Fi- you just won on the price is right. I finally got you on this phone line. I know. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know... I didn't know what number to call. That's fine. I see it when you call my cell phone. I just can't get that on the air. Um, listen to me. Listen to me. Um, you going to pick these tickets up at Weller's? Please, okay? Uh, just keep in mind, I'm closed Sunday and Mondays, all right? That's the only days I can get there. Can you open just for me? Um, I would absolutely open just for you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well. all the answers, though, Jim. Yeah, I do. All right, well, I got to leave you, Jack. I'm a little behind today, but um, thank you for calling me, and I miss seeing you on Sundays, and we will get together soon. Do you have any clue when they're going to start back on Sundays? Um, they're definitely doing it in Dover already, but I don't know exactly when Milford. I think it has to do with the school system. So should be well, soon, hopefully. Soon, hopefully. Sounds like politics involved. No doubt. All right, my friend, I'm going to say goodbye, okay? Have a good day, Jim. Yep, Thank see you, Jack. Take care. Jack Ennis, Bye. real good guy. Thank you, Jack. Good local guy. I'm going to do one more ad real quick. And if you want two tickets to the Clayton Theater, phone number is 422-7336. When you call, just hold tight. When I finish this commercial, I'll be right with you. I apologize for having so many commercials one after another. But as you could see, my show is just getting busier and busier every week. And I'm trying to squeeze everybody in. So let's brag on this sponsor, L&W Insurance Agency. People say, Jim Weller. You love your insurance company. I love L&W because I love the service they provide. I don't care whether I've got a claim, whether I'm getting a quote, whether I'm adding coverage, whatever it is, whoever I interface with is professional. They're prompt. They do what they say they're going to do. I have uh, just really enjoyed years of great customer service from L&W Insurance Agency. So you can you can have it too. It's for you. So whether you need uh, personal insurance or renter's insurance, car insurance, homeowners, whatever you need, if you're a business and you want to compare what you have right now to what they would recommend just to make sure there's no gaps, even if you just want to hold your insurance agent accountable, L&W Second Opinions are absolutely free. So you give them a call. Here's the phone number. It's 302 302- 856-7828, 856-7828lwinsurance.com. Uh, like them on Facebook, very active there. You'll be very pleased. They do a good job. They'll take good care of you. They're not pushy. They're honest. Been around 87 years. They do a good job. So if you are fed up with 1-800, I don't care, and you want to talk to a local company, it's 856 78 Two eight, they will help you in any way they can. Plus, make sure you're properly insured. Now we got another phone call. We are getting the phone calls here this morning. So, um, who am I talking to? Bernice Carl. Bernice. Carl. C A R L. And how you spelling Bernice? B E R N I C E. Bernice, you have got both names spelled correctly today. You are a winner. Um, <laughs> Are you watching on TV or Facebook or radio, or what's the story? Radio. Radio. And um, where are you from? Tagsboro, Delaware. And you got to drive all the way to Bridgeville to get these two tickets. Yes, I'm sorry. I know. But it's a ploy. You know why I'm giving them away? I want to get you inside of Weller's Utility Trailers to look around. That's why I do this. So I need you to come to Weller's sometime Tuesday through Saturdays. And uh, we'll set two tickets aside and just see what my store looks like and pick up two free tickets. Is that okay? That's fine. Thank you. Have you ever been to the Clayton? Oh, all the time. All the time. We go to the, for the movies because we live near there. Isn't it wonderful? It's a nice little theater. Yes, and Julian is so nice. 
Have you ever had the popcorn? Oh, yes. All right. Do you get extra butter? Definitely. <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> All right. And do you listen to the show often? Oh, every morning when we get up. All right. Well, thank you. All right. Well, Bernice, I'm going to say have a good weekend, and there will be two tickets waiting for you, okay? Thank you so much, and have a good day. You, too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Folks, I'm going to do one more sponsor segment. And uh, you can still call 422-7336. Just hold tight. I'll be with you, and I'll give you two tickets to the Clayton Theater if you want to call now, 422-7336. Now, this one here is something that I've got a project going on with. It's called Bay to the Beach Builder. So this is a sponsor segment, but I'm building a new house for uh, one of my uh, daughters, and uh, I'm very excited. I, I love how it's going, okay? So um, they have now got it what's called under roof. So uh, next week, they're going to do the electrical and then the uh, insulation, and we're moving right along. But I like the fact that, you know, they, they, they give me a report every Friday. If I have any questions, they answer them right away. It's been a wonderful experience. So if you're listening and you're thinking about building a new home anytime in the next year or two, give them a call. They're very professional. They know what they're doing. But what they've got that's really cool, it's down in Ocean View. It's a new design center they have one in greenwood but you got to check out this ten thousand square foot design center idea center design center in ocean view all right it's really cool you don't have to really be in the market for a house to stop by and just take a look at it so make a point of going down there sometime walking through it seeing all the things they have to offer there's a <laughs> excuse me there's a room you can sit in and up on the screen, you can look at all the different floor plans of the houses that they already have floor plans for. for. There's like, um, I don't even know how many there is, 20 or 30 of them, 20 of them. But anyway, and then they can custom design whatever you want. You don't need to pay somebody to do that. They will help you with that. So if you can dream it, they can achieve it, all right? But check out this new state-of-the-art idea home and design studio down in Ocean View. If you have any questions for Bay to the Beast Builders. Their phone number is 349-5099. 349-5099. You can learn a lot at baytothebeachbuilders.com and uh, like them on Facebook. They're very active there. Also, I have had a wonderful experience, wonderful experience. It's Derek and Carla Parker are the owners. Local Greenwood, they were just kids when they got together and now they've started a business and a family and their kids are involved and it's just a wonderful thing to see. So it is Bay to the Beach Builders. I highly recommend them if you're thinking about a home. They don't do additions or remodeling or anything like that. They build new homes, okay? And they'll build one for you at a fair price and they'll do a unbelievable job, all right? Uh, so that's that. All right, now, I think I got another phone call. I'm not sure. Caller, are you there? They hung up. Call right back, 422-7336. I got just a couple minutes left, but when you call, you got to kind of just hold tight. I'll get to you just as quick as I can. 422-7336. If you want two tickets to the Clayton Theater, call now. We'll set them aside for you at Weller's Utility Trailers in Bridgeville, and you can pick them up sometime Tuesday through Saturday. It is a ploy. We're trying to get you to come into the store and look around, maybe buy something, and pick up a couple tickets to the Clayton Theater. Caller, are you there? I'm here. And who am I talking to? Debbie Sellers. Debbie, D-E-B-B-Y? D-E-B-B-I-E. -E. I was just checking if you knew. Um, <laughs> Sellers is S-E-L-L-E-R-S. -L -L -E and where are you calling from, Debbie? Millsboro. And I bet you know where the Clayton Theater is. We do. It's a lovely place. You've been there? Oh, yes. And I'm going to make you drive all the way to Bridgeville to get two free tickets. That'll be fine. It's a ploy, okay? Trying to get you in the store. Um, uh, we've been to your store, too. We oh, like good. it. Thank you. Now, we're closed on Sundays and Mondays, so keep that in mind, okay? Tuesday through okay. Saturday. Now, tell me this. Tell me this. Are you watching on TV, listening on the radio? How are you hearing this show? On the radio. On the radio, okay. And have you listened before? Yes. All right. And Every there, Saturday. Do you have any complaints about the show? No. Well, no. We, we, we enjoy it very much. In fact, we'd like to get one of those flagpoles you have. Hey, I need to be honest with you. I've got less than 30, and we're not going to continue selling them. So I would get one soon. 177 bucks. 
if you okay. go if you go online to that company, that same company, they're two hundred and ninety nine dollars. I'm just liquidating them at one seventy seven. I just I'm going to get out of the flagpole business. So they're okay. wonderful. They're wonderful though. Okay, well, okay. Debbie, I'm going to say have a good weekend and thank you for calling the show. Thank you. All right, take care of yourself. All right. Okay. Bye okay. Now. There we go. All right. So anyway, um, I just want to let you know. Uh, I just got a text message and it says, "Heard it on the radio, baby." No doubt. Uh, Dan Gaffney is evidently listening, and Dan Gaffney is 105.9, and it's a hot commodity. If you want results for your business, I get results from 105.9. Thank you, Dan. God bless you all. Have a good weekend. I hear the music, and we will be back next Saturday right here at Rudy's Family Restaurant in Harrington with more Weller Does Del Marva. I'll keep talking because I think I'm going to be on TV just a little teeny bit longer. So if you're watching on Facebook, do me a favor. As soon as the show's over, hit the share button. Share the show with all your friends if you would. And um, if you would like the show and tell your friends about the Facebook page, Weller Does Del Marva, we would appreciate that. If you uh, are enjoying it on uh, TV, let me know. We are done. I'll